crops. But in the meantime, between time from now until 12, stick and stay with us right here on Styles FM while we take you through another real talk. My co-host tonight, I don't know if it's good luck or bad luck, Friday the 13th, I have him again tonight. It's Daddy Rude. And our engineer in studio is King Mitchell. I have a whole heap of things. Whole heap of things. At the roots of my can't talk patois. May have enough things on my plate tonight. When we want to talk, but shut up, Daddy Road. <laughs> He's correcting my patois. Can you imagine that, people? May have only pat. What is it, Mr. Sitting. Oh, sitting. Yes. What did I say? Things. 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 Yes. Wally pass sitting. Sitting. Yes, sitting. May have wally pass sitting on my plate and want to talk about tonight. 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 <laughs> that was like kind of hard <laughs> <laughs> to do that so fluently. Oh boy. Yes. So I want your indulgence tonight. I crave your indulgence when we start to dive into the issues and the matters. And, you know, we want you to share with us because when you do share, in the issues and the topics and the concerns, then you could very well be helping somebody else to resolve a similar issue or shedding light on how it is that they could resolve the issue. And of course, you know, help to direct them in probably the right path or the better way um, of coping or dealing with that particular issue. All right. so. Feel free to engage us. We keep it clean. We keep it respectful, of course. And remember, the show is rated A for adults only. Yeah, adults only. So all our friends across the world, those on the World Wide Web tonight watching in, locked in, those across Jamaica who are watching via the World Wide Web, we big you up tonight. All those in Portland, St. Mary, St. Thomas, um, St. Anne, <coughs> everywhere else, yeah, man. All the other parishes, them Clarendon, Westmoreland, all about St. Catherine locked in. We welcome you to another night of education and entertainment. Ah, let's get those numbers, King Mitchell, so we can let the people know what's happening. So, if it's your first time listening in tonight, a very special. Jamaican kind of christmas vibes kind of welcome to you. You know, let me say Christmas now keep this year. But I'm going to play a carol later on. And hopefully it can give you a little feeling. You know, you're not going to do the normal things you did last year and the years before. Because you're still trying to protect yourself and protect others from contracting this possibly deadly mm-hmm, virus. But we can still feel the Christmas vibration in our hearts, in our spirits, in our minds. And we can still treat other people with the kind of love, you know, and care that we ought to treat them with during Christmas time and even throughout the year. Right? So that whole essence and vibration that Christmas normally gives a little nice little feeling there. For those who enjoy that time of the year, yeah, man, that little carol will give you a little push start. Mm-hmm into enjoying Christmas Christmas as best as you can at home. Mm-hmm. Keeping a social distance and all these things. All right, so the numbers to call us locally is 876-453-1444. You know, help me. Something damn it short. Something damn it short, no? So the local number again is 876-453-1444. And if you're calling from overseas tonight, if you want to call us from overseas, the number is... Something damn it short. Something damn it short. 954-338-7973. That's 954-338-7973. Tell a friend to tell another friend to call us tonight. Because Real Talk, it's on, and it is that show where we discuss all of the real, real, some of them. All we, you know, want to talk about them. On Real Talk, we dissect them mm-hmm, and expose them mm-hmm, and then put them back together in, in the best possible way we can. <laughs> all right, so the overseas, well, the on the go numbers, rather, are uh, USA, UK, and Canada. The USA on the go number is 712 8332. 
0302-306-2772. And in the UK, it's 0330-606-0944. And in good old Canada, it is 647-957-9639. Can somebody come and just take my co-host out of the studio permanently, please? <laughs> <laughs> all right. So those social media, it's rather hot in here all of a sudden. I tell you, boy. Eh -eh. All right. So those social... Um, <laughs> You know, Daddy Rude is really Daddy Rude for true. Y'all know that, right? Yeah. So the social media pages tonight, YouTube at Stars FM Radio. On Instagram, you follow us at Stars FM. And Twitter at Stars FM 961. And check out the Facebook live feed tonight. Go to Stars FM 96.1 and check out that fan page. Loud ups tonight to all... November born people, Celia Roper is celebrate will be celebrating her birthday in November. Miss Shame, but I remember which date. Lord. Text me Celia, text me do. Getting old, you hear mama? All, all, all. Yeah, I can't remember all of the things. Um Mr. Alva Williams, my former principal, will be having a birthday on the 17th. Carisha Brown in Boundbrook will also be celebrating. <laughs> A birthday in November, and again, I don't remember the date. I think it's the 23rd, or <laughs> they're about. Yes. And everybody else, um, Nathaniel Fraser, he celebrated a birthday on the 9th, all right? And everybody else who's celebrating a birthday in November, sweet November. Love you up. Lolly in St. Thomas, Whitehall, oh my. She had a birthday on the 7th. And I don't know how I forgot to, to, to big her up last week. Mm -hmm. But I hope you had a blast, girl. All right? So we see our friends locking in already on the text line. Goody, goody, goody. Andy from Port Morant is locked in. Hello, Andy. How you doing? Blessings to you too, my brother. Sadie in York Castle. Hi, Cleo. Weather, I'm going to tell you the weather is normal for true. Hmm. Andrea in Hampton Court, Hampton Court in uh, St. Thomas is also present. Hello, Princess. And we see Gracie Rude. Please let us see the lovely UL. You can, can you please? Oh, please. Grace, please. <laughs> Did you ask to see UL? You're going to have to come here to see UL offset. Like when you come and he's over by his house. And you say, hello, it gives you the warmest, sweetest greeting. The very lovely, well-brought-up, disciplined boy he is. That's when you will see him. Not on Real Talk, honey. Okay? <laughs> Wishful thinking. Okay. <laughs> Just clarifying that. So, one, three, two, one. No, you better leave the boss alone. He make the show nice. So laugh out loud, loud, loud. <laughs> that just look like Marvin. But why is Marvin's name not there? Is it Marvin? I think so. Yes. Me no say you, me no. Me no say you. You, but you look cute though, Marvin. I want a picture. Yeah, <laughs> the picture, you know. <laughs> Rochelle in Heart Hill locked in. Hello, Rochelle. Good to have you as well. Marvin in my blush. Yes, man in my blush. Ah, oh, boy. Elroy McKella in Albion Mountain. Where is that? Where is Albion Mountain again? St. Thomas too? Albion. Albion no, there's an Albion in, in, in St. Thomas. Is there an Albion Mountain? Is it the same place? Mm, I'm thinking. Hmm. Text me Elroy and tell me, know, me if Albion me, Mountain me is in St. Thomas. Albion is, oh, sorry, Heights. Is, uh, Al Ablan. Ablan. Is it Ablan? Oh, it's, where we get Albion from? You see? All eight. Don't laugh, Michelle. Okay, so it's um, Ablan. Where is that? Tell me. Oh, say. Me always cute, Saint bright. <laughs> me a nice boy for a long time. All right, so sorry. <laughs> me apologize. <laughs> All right, so it's Saint. 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 Finish the statement, Elroy. <laughs> As it's Saint. Saint no, it's Saint Mary. It's Saint Mary? Yes. Ablan Mountain? No, you have Albany. 
But, well, Ablan would be new. I never hear about Ablan I've before. I've never heard Ab- Ablan. Tell me I call it Albion. You see the difference? What difference? What? Y- what you what? said, I've never heard. I say, I never hear about. It's the same thing. Yes, but the difference. Yo, yo, my youth. You know that, I I you know that it man. is, I think it, it would be <laughs> incorrect for... Oh, prestige too. Hold that thought. Prestige has a birthday in November. How could I leave out my second partner? <laughs> in crime. <laughs> I have not left him out. Uh-uh. Thank you for reminding me, though. Oh, yes. Sandra from Need and Pen. Prestige from Noblet. All right. Thank you, Noblet. And Sandra in Need and Pen. Sandra in Need and Pen. Oh, from Need, hey. Need and Pen. Where is that? Oh, hold on. Um, um, that's in St. Thomas. I wanna, okay. I wanna, to me, I want to one of them nice, tranquil community there. Need them um, Need them um, pen. pen? Yeah, man. Oh, it's on Fardo, four. Not really. Okay. The time is now... 9.30 and a half. And a half. <laughs> the time is brought to us by VJ Printing Services. And Real Talk is sponsored by Native Entertainment Stage, Audio and Lighting, right here at Bonebrook Road. Don't go anywhere. we soon come back. Yep. Hello? You have one minute, cause on a Friday night, me have to tune in to Real Talk on Stars 96 FM. Me and you have questions about love, birds and the bees. Not to mention the ticks and the fleas. So you try tune in on a Friday night between 9 and 12 for Real Talk. At the show we discuss everything real and nothing ideal. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting, and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party, or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Architects, draftsmen, and surveyors Get your drawings printed in high-quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high-quality white paper printing that is water-resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 893 Six, six. The views expressed on this program are not necessarily the views of Native Broadcasting Network or Styles FM. Welcome back, y'all, to Real Talk on Styles FM. Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude at Master Control at the moment. Hmm. All right, stick and stay with us until 12 midnight. Oren in Calgary is also on with us tonight. Good night, Cleo. I see something on social media where this... Uh, let's see what Oren is saying. Um, let's see what Oren is saying. Okay, it's not opening. So we're going to restart that one. Okay, so you probably need to... All right, we'll share that message in a moment, Oren. All right? Um... As soon as we are off a be quarantined, I'm gonna I'm gonna pay him a visit. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right, Gracie. I'm sure he'll behave himself by that time when he knows you're coming. I'll be on in Montego Bay. I'll be on in Montego Bay. Kevin in Tampa, Florida, what are you talking about? There's an Albion in Montego Bay? That's what there's he's a, saying. That there's an Albion in St. Thomas. I don't know about Mobe. But if he says so, then maybe he knows of it. All right. I'll be on enough place. I'll be, apparently, I'll be on enough place with you. Right. <coughs> um, okay. So <laughs> I have a question for my people. and This, this, one, this is one of, one of the things that are on your mind? Yes. One of the things them. One of the sitting them. One of the sitting them. Okay, I'll have to say, yeah, man. One of the sitting, sitting them with upon my mind. <laughs> 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 oh, that was right. difficult, right? That, okay, kind of. To say it fluently, yes. it is. One yes. of the sitting there with it on my mind. One of the sit- sitting there with it on my mind. Yes, I said it. <laughs> <laughs> now, I want to know, lady, is it the men first I'm going to ask or the ladies? I think 
is the men first? Ask, ask it in a unisex fashion. Yeah, unisex fashion. Yes. So, men, I want you to tell That's me. That's not unisex. Okay. Peeps, yes. I want you to tell me. Is something wrong? Yes. <laughs> You're answering the question, or are you just, you're just prompting the, the question? I'm answering the question. Okay. <laughs> Is something wrong with a spouse using expletives to another spouse? So, for example, the man is upset with the woman or vice versa, and she just chips one give him or him just chip one give her. It depends. Depends on what? On the context. You have con. Well, yes, you have context. All right. So... <laughs> He's upset yeah. about something she did. Yeah. And he just comes in and say, Yo, Cleo, where you do that for? You don't know, say, me like when you, what's it, what's it not do that? Mm. Is something wrong with that? Is, is, it, is it okay because he's angry? Is, is something wrong with it? No, not in that context. Massa. Then you know which context is wrong, Massa? He never tell you. When do? He cuss it, but he never tell you. Oh. Let's see what. I like how Marvin start to answer so quickly. The very nice <laughs> Marvin. Yep. I think it's disrespectful unless I jokes. Uh, no, unless I joke, we are joke. Oh, uh, ja, 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 I'm going to come to that one. Call her on the four or five. Uh oh, oh we'll, you sorry, lost sorry, them? sorry. Um, call back, please. Uh, Actually, the engineer answered the phone. Oh, the engineer I, answered the my, phone. My bad. My, my, okay. Can call All right. Up, so unless the jokes, the jokes. All right. Well, I'm All right. Let's see what Donald has to say. So the men, it's what the men answering right now, right? Go ahead, Donald. How are you? I'm not even the question. The men answer. And I tell the answer. No, sir. What make? We got the Jackson there, man. Respect, General. We got the Jackson them. Trust me, because them get some of the best set of people them to work for here, you know. Well, thank you, honey. From um, some, some real <laughs> nice. I want to tell you, I already know the king of my child for that. Uh huh. And although my neighbor feel good at that, after I'm done talking, I have to say my feel real good. Real that. talk. Mad, yeah, mad, mad. Give talk. Can you imagine so if you had spoken to Cleo? Huh. I was <laughs> quiet, nice, well groomed. Hear, hear me and him know. Yeah, he's coming like that, dude. Oh yes, he's got it. He's got it. Can't can't take that from him at all. <laughs> Let me ask you a question. <laughs> yeah. You're gonna answer me honestly, right? Yeah, man. Yeah. What if you had spoken to Cleo? <laughs> 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 I'm <laughs> just troubling you, Donald. Let me hear you. Let me hear which question you're going to answer, Donald. <laughs> yes. Frustration from some point in time uh, it's frustration and sometimes in a disrespect and uh, sometimes uh, that frustration maybe i never even should or uh, she you want know, to tell about what but it's just frustrated but what if it's something that he does that is how his demeanor is or in terms of every now and again ever so often he would use it yeah that thing called verbal abuse yes and if you find yourself in a any form of abuse, so you run like thief. Run like thief? Yeah, man. Okay. You can't see verbal abuse. You understand? You know, I think it is I'm worse than the physical, I'm though. Like guilty of it, you know? Yes. Yeah, I'm guilty, but when it's when it constant and it happens over and over, it's not abuse, you know? Okay. And you, and you can't be in an abusive relationship. That's not my Real talk. You're supposed yeah, to be in it to uplift, your, deep, uplift yourself and to be growing at some level. Yeah, man. And not being I abused and battered. And I, I want to ask a question. Yes, sir. I was at a um, clinic at UBS on Wednesday. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the patients that were there with me were saying media houses were not doing enough to inform 
speak about some of the dangerous diseases that are out there. Some yeah. of the dangerous what diseases? Yeah, you have the cancer, you have the yes. kidney failure, you have all mm -hmm. of the different things. Yes. We were we were talking amongst ourselves and we were saying media houses were not um telling us much about these things. Mm. I know media houses, everybody wants to make money and all, all right. of that and something that but mm. Mr Jackson, may I ask, can we can 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 Charles FM be one of those first pioneers? Just have a program say about cancer, a program about kidney failure, a program about it can even be half an hour just to talk mm -hmm. about some of these things and some of the things that like, can prevent our uh, you know people can lifestyle like, changes and, and so on. Yes. Okay. Um, yes. I've, yeah, I've... I'm gonna read the list of Monday night because Monday night I'm my after my Monday and Thursday after my treatment and them two days of my month up. Alright. You understand? But through the night, I listen to, to I am to start this to daytime already you now in terms of telling for a for a Tuesday, prestige for a Tuesday night. I don't really like much of the reggae music type of thing, so sometimes we're chipping and uh, other nights. But just a lifestyle program, you know? Yes. Where, because I'm a girlfriend of mine has died this week in a month. And it, I, I, I was helpless <laughs> because he couldn't do nothing to give her. You see what I'm saying? Mm. Cancer. And may I say, if we know more about these things, yeah, more about cooking up a certain thing, more about the lifestyle changes. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's right. Yeah. So I don't know if Mr. Jackson can look at stuff like that. But big up, big up stars of them, man, and I'll go and put my love hey. Friday night. Man, Thank I'm you. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and lovely, clear, let me tell you something. You're, <laughs> you're, you're already taken. They're already taken, but I know people like Marvin, Dan, Dan. And that's all about me, because I kind of like Jelly already, but you know them, them <laughs> man, they're in a real, you understand? <laughs> that's that the root can tell you, though. You tell you that the root can know, uh, 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 and he sticks beside the, the, the lovely lady every now and again. So he knows what is there, you see? Okay. Yeah. King Mitchell as well. Man. All right. Thank you so much, Donald, and the sentiments oh. back to you. Yeah, man. Oh, wow. Well, thank you. Thank you. On their behalf, yes, those are not here. All right. So that's a, that's a very good... Um, you know, yes, um, I love the, the idea. I've Beautiful. On several occasions, I've spoken with doctors. Yes and made them offer of actually coming on this show once per month yes and where we are, we are today yeah so that's i've tried to and i know and i know and i know you have tried yes i have and i've spoken to that person we have tried with sometime last year and still we are, here, we, 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 we are here where we are. Yeah, yeah. So we keep trying, though. And um, lovely suggestion. Thank you so much for the refresher and the reminder. Because a reminder you is see, good you in see, this you see, you see, a program like we that. we can continue to, 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 to stress for that. Yeah, a program like that. You have to have persons within the field. With it, definitely. You know, definitely. And um, we have been trying. Yeah. We have been trying and to no avail. Yeah. Yeah. But we don't. We won't be. We won't give up. We will be relentless, and we'll continue to try again and try other sources. Yes. And see, Hartill. The bad word thing I know. Yes. All right, Donald. Gracie says, "Bless up yourself every time." All right. Mm. A different thing, you know. When a man tell you a bad word, from when? In your say it. From when in cost bad word, yeah. Then if you're talking to me and you use it, let me tell. No, there's a difference. You just say it. Listen, there's a you difference. Want a leak. There, there, there's a difference. Mm. You see, I'm a sure say. I'm a, and King, I'm going to show you the double standard now, Zane. Because Mayor Bex, uh -huh. I'm a cost to Tara Tara. Mm -hmm. You take it offensive. But well, my reason, I say, boy, to Tara Tara, may I laugh about it. <laughs> eh? And when, when we're, when we're um, dancing. Dancing. And she use it. And she use, use it. it. It's okay. It's okay. That's, that's so, why you ask so the question, you know. So, you have to make up on your mind. So, right? so my next question then. Because, uh, let, yes. let me show you something. Oh, man, you're Tara Tara. I tell, let me tell you. As opposed to, you know, something like so and so and so. Uh, what did Tara Tara you do that for? How about that? 
You are set? No, that is, one. Is the, well, the, well, 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 you're the so-and-so I'm telling tell you. Oh, beg your pardon. Yeah, man. You have to understand the context ah, of part two, you know. Aye. Right. And, and you see the tara tara them, uh-huh. it depends to the context within which it is being used in terms of what it meant at the time because it can also be an adjective. <laughs> <laughs> You're describing. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, describe the situation, man. Or it could man. be an adverb, the extent to which. Aye. Oh, say, me give myself a tara tara lick, you see, man. Okay. What that one? Uh, Advert. Uh, another one. Let me that talk about Right. Hey, woman, you're pretty not Tara Tara. Yeah, I'll take that That's one. That's an ad- <laughs> <laughs> I'll take that one. Listen, me. So uh, uh, you have to know the context uh, within which because I I, I I I ask the question in the context that the man is upset. Yeah. And the woman is upset. Yeah. So if it doesn't, if it. If it's disrespectful at that point, is there a point, Marvin, who asked Donald not to mix him up earlier? Is there a <laughs> point where it is okay when, as, well, he did say when you, they are juxing. So when they are dancing, it's okay for her, for him to say, boy, baby, tara, 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 <laughs> Is it okay at that time, Marvin? That's what and I'm for saying. her, for her, to say, oh, Marvin, you Tara, Tara, Tara. Is it okay? <laughs> <laughs> Is it okay at that point, Marvin? Because I asked the question because, as that, that Ruth said, there is some amount of double standard. Yeah. So we need to set the precedence as to whether or not <laughs> it's acceptable at I mean, any at all or just unacceptable. Kadian, good night to you too. Marvin is typing away. I want to hear what he's saying. Donald says, means of expression. And there are some people who will say, that kind of language is unique to us. So why, why take offense to it when it's just a part of our culture, people will yeah. say. But, oh boy. Ladies, ladies. You see, I want to hear, I heard from it, about three, four men. You see, in an argument... Yes. Women take bad word, offensive to a next dimension. Right? But. And hmm. more time, it does feel say. You see, if, if it's a woman where you use expletives, it never hmm. mean nothing to her. Bunks her <laughs> fine, like water pan duck back. <laughs> she says, oh no, I make me dead with laugh to Tara Tara. <laughs> <laughs> Then I can't stop typing it. No, man. No, sir. Then I'm closing the show. I mean, sorry. Marvin closing the show tonight. We have another caller. This looks like novelet. Caller on the 453. Hello, caller. Welcome to Real Talk. Good evening, Cleo. Good evening, my love. How are you? Um, not bad. It's not bad. Novelet. Yes. You see, from last week, if you did, if you did give me the Tara Tara number, I would have it on my phone. <laughs> but you never give me the Tara Tara number. Yes. Yes. Right? Yes. You, you, you are telling me to figure up on WhatsApp. Yes. All right, all right. Now, let's tell you my Tara Tara. <laughs> you know, before you get current, you text when you say, I'm here, you know, the number. Who cares, the man? <laughs> Thank you, no. <laughs> no, like, do not follow that rule, you know. Don't let that rule draw you out. <laughs> no, you can't put the one day. You can't put the one day. Oh, my goodness. And <laughs> time, come on, me have a finish. Yes, ma'am. The word, the word, the bad word, and decent language, whichever way. You have some of them. As me have two pieces that me use, them nice. Uh-huh. Right? Whether I'm in the bad mood or the good mood. Yes. But clear, yeah, some they hope it, they heavy, so they ain't hope they are get I know. Yes. Yes, very ugly. <laughs> and the tone of voice and everything with it, we use with, <laughs> ugly bad. And, <laughs> you know, my ear, you know, joke. 
Yes. And some of the other features. Two, me add two, me add two different pieces of you. That them good. Then good. Yeah. So you use them when you're angry, or you use them when you're dancing? Oh, no, no, oh. Dance with it. You dance with it. Oh. No, I'm not trying to use that to dance. That dance is not coming as that. It's a different word than the dancing. When dancing, sweet people don't use it, man. <laughs> oh, you're breaking the, the, up. The, the connection. Um, the connection is distorted. poor. This, yes, very much distorted. Not sure why. Because you were good for the first part. <laughs> All right. Try calling back in a bit. You hear it's choppy. Oh, okay. All, all right. All right. So Donald Marvin says, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. She said, yes, daddy. Um, Tara, Tara, I guess that is. That turned me on. Okay. But like Daddy Rude says, it depends on how you use it. Because not everyone thinks the same. So what's joke to me may be serious to you. Indeed. Indeed. And there are some people who just take offense to those terminologies. Right? I'm on a check-in. Big up Lady C and Daddy Rude. A rude boy. Jamaica this. Jamaica this, Lord. Then I want me to feel six pack massa. Pack step pump pack so. You just boss it so. All right, sir. Hey. All right. So, sure. Oh, good. Pack and muscles and all these things. Katie and locked in as well. Uh, we have 585 there. Not sure who's name. Heart Hill. Dennis. <coughs> okay. Locked in. Locking. Locking in, big up to the Real Talk crew. Thank you. Big up to yourself, brother. All right. So let's see what Oren was saying now. Oren says, good night, Cleo. I see something on social media where this girl, her fiancé, cheated on her with her friend. And she went and engaged to the fiancé. <coughs> and she went and engaged to the fiancé, dad. The dad no know that she was with his son. She's keeping it a secret. Master God. Oren? Nothing wrong with that. Ne <coughs> what do you say? Well, so the thing set. Oh, so fire, fire for fire, um, an eye for an eye? No. You know, sir, we are the, the only species we kind of pre certain things. Mm. Dog no care, post uh, no care, oh. alligator no care, crocodile oh. no care. The, I'm gonna, I'm gonna the, slap the you eagle, right now because you're deer. telling me that if it's what about in the family, eh? Eh? But then there is no way. You want a slap a long time in a gear to two oh. lick the average or something like that. <laughs> what a long reach? time. Then I reach no way. Warm, warm, did I not forget nobody? <laughs> Go get eh? somebody else. Did, why? Oh, Suppose man. Suppose I last chance. Oh, jeez and peace. No, nah, man. Here we go again. The re I tell you, the real daddy rule. Exactly, Donald. <laughs> exactly my point. So, ladies. Thank you, Navlet. One lady said it's not okay. It's disrespectful. Navlet says she's not really into that. Triple the cough. Okay. Gracie, there you have it. <laughs> Michael is also locked in. Uh, we have a caller here. Did I lose the hello caller? I'm sorry, but you can't. All right. I may try to make a call. I'm so sorry. All right. So pretty much, I didn't hear from many of the ladies, but the men are saying... It depends on context and all these things. Boy, I mean, you know. Let me hear what Dan Dan has to say on this issue of Terra Tara. Yes, Dan Dan. Good night. Welcome to Real Talk. Oh, well, well, I'm a Terra Tara brethren. <laughs> Dan Dan? I think I lost Dan Dan. Yeah, my call. We lost Dan Dan to Terra Tara. <laughs> 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 oh boy. No, it's not this is serious. <laughs> All right. So my my other question is if it ladies it's a ladies question, yeah. Ladies question no. And I want the ladies to call and answer the question, you know, please. It is said why is it 
that ladies who you think are on the softer side, they don't really have much of the, the, the roughness to them, they tend to want or to be drawn to men who are called, quote-unquote, bad boys. <laughs> Dan Dan, uh, the pun. Dan Dan on the line. Good night, Dan Dan. Welcome to Real Talk. Oh, I'm not hearing my Dan Dan. Dan Dan, ooh. Hmm. I wonder what has gotten his tongue tonight. All right, not hearing Dan Dan. All right. Um, so those ladies, um, we call dainty, quote unquote, dainty. And when you see them, they can hardly speak. They can hardly, you know, they're just so dainty. But then <clears throat> they go for the bad boys. What's with that? And boys, when I say bad boys, let me, let me elaborate. <clears throat> so bad boy who has a whole heap of girls. He, she knows he has a whole heap of girls, thriller load. But she's drawn to that one, nevertheless. The ordinary look a simple one who would just cherish her and adore, you know, just the very sight of her. No, sir, she's not interested in him. She wants the bad boy who has all the girls around town. Um, she wants the one who, and some women go to the extent of saying, she wants the one who will drape her and rough her and, you know, f get all physical sometimes with her. What's with that? I'd love to know what is going through those women's heads. If that's their take, that's their preference. There are some women who will say, if he is not physical, then he's not really, <clears throat> she, does, she doesn't think he feels her. And she's not into him that much if he's not doing that. There are some women who are like that. I would love to know what you think is going on with those women. We have Dan Dan on the line. Good night, Dan Dan. Good night, teacher. How are you? Good, as can be. Yes, you're going to answer the first question or respond to the first question? Yeah, man. well, here's the question now. Yes. They are like what? They are like what? Nine parts of speech, right? Uh, guitar, something like yeah, something like that. Parts of speech or figures of speech? Which, which one? Parts of speech? Eh? Which one are you referring to? Parts of speech, the noun, the verb, the adjectives, that one? Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, yes. Yeah. So, so that, so then, 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 ex, ex speeches that are also can be, can be used in any, any part of speech, you know? Oh. So, so, so like that, it depends on the context to use it. Okay, so you can use it as an adverb of manner, an adverb of degree. Yeah, because, like, all right, like, an, like an exclamation now. Yes. When you say like uh, BC, for instance. Yes. You know, like... Something like, frightening like, happened. I'm, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not an expletive, right? Yes. But, but uh, yes, you know, I have to cut off some. Oh, yes, yeah, eh? To terror, terror. Yeah. So, okay. Well, Were you angry? Were you angry? No, I wasn't angry. It was like, it was like disappointing. All right, yeah. No, no. It's, 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 it's. All right, that's rule. Yeah. I want, when, I, when I hear a neighbor drop out yesterday, you know, I'm going to hear the news, you know. I was just going on an expedited diary because I just couldn't angle it like that, you know. Oh. One of my neighbors? Yeah, one of your neighbors, man. Uh, and you know, sir, right now, I wonder who. Oh, gosh, man. Um, Moggy. Oh, you know, sir, I told you, yeah, me, I hear today. Yeah, man. Yeah. yeah, man. Condolences, man, to, to all of the, the friends and the family of Mr. Davis. For real, man. He used to work at um, Inland Revenue. One of the most pleasant bridge in them, that man. Mm. Yeah, man. All time yeah, football, all time footballer, too. He run the show. Yeah, man. As a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, I believe put, put and tune, put and put and tune in depth to him. Because of what he do for them. Mm. Yeah. So, okay. I, don't know. Yeah. I mean, I know I wasn't in the best of shape for the past five years, but, you know, but when I heard it, I, 
you know, and I, 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 I don't want to tell you, you know, I was, I was, I was around my mother. I was, I was my mother, hear me, but both of them were the same. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Little more, little more, get beaten to Tara Tara. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, yeah, man, so it, it, it's, all, it's all in the context, and it's like that now. You have to release some, some, some emotional stress that would have come over you at the time. So, so when you, when, when, when you utter them, 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 them word at, at that time now, it's mm -hmm. like, it, 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 it calmed down the, the, the nerves in, 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 in processing the news and everything, you know. It's like, in the process bad news then. Okay. See? And then again, when you hear good news, you get, you get, you get, when, when you get, you know, you get 15 CXP, are you kids and you pass G, Satan? <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah, when, true. When, when they have to feel too, they start out of BC when they when, when, when get when they use them past about teach field. You can't, you can't beat the boys with that. Okay, then. <laughs> mm. I mean, I mean. Well, it's time for the break. We're not a panel one every day. You're a time for the break. <laughs> All right, it's 10 o'clock, 10.01. The time is brought to us by VJ Printing Services. And Real Talk is sponsored by Nestal. I would be so shocked. Number one, that's the first thing. We we'll soon come back. <laughs> Hello? You have one minute, cause on a Friday night, me have to tune in to Real Talk on Stars 96 FM. Me and you have questions about love, birds and the bees. Not to mention the ticks and the fleas. So you try tune in on a Friday night between 9 and 12 for Real Talk. At a show we discuss everything real and nothing ideal. Good day, driver. You notice that you're parking in a no parking zone. You know, so you can get a ticket for this, sir. Really, officer? We just want to pick up some hardware supplies, you know. Do me a beg you. Give me a blind, you know? So if you need hardware supplies, why you don't go to Ramtula Supercenter and Hardware? Ramtula Supercenter and Hardware, 34 Folly Road, Port Antonio, Portland. We stock a wide range of products at the best prices in town. At Ramtula Hardware, experience the three C's. Comfort, competitive prices, and convenience. Ramtula Supercenter and hardware opens 8 a.m. to midnight seven days per week call 715-5132 email ram to the supercenter at gmail.com remember we have the best prices in town Architects, draftsmen, and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high-quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high-quality white paper printing that is water-resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 8 9322266 Native Audio Stage and Lighting now offering stage lighting and trust systems for your small and medium sized events whether it's a stage show concert drama play wedding street party or club setting you name it we'll bring it to life call us at 8715212 or 8446531 Native Audio Stage and Lighting a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude The views expressed on this program are not necessarily the views of Native Broadcasting Network or Styles FM Welcome back to Real Talk, guys. And, of course, we're discussing some issues as to whether or not we were discussing the issue pretty much as to whether expletives being used to a partner is acceptable or not. That I would mention in context. Some people say, no, uh -uh, it's disrespectful. But then if when you're enjoying yourselves together, then it's okay. But hmm, teach his own. Gracie says, you ever said Bonebrook School? I mean, so many people use that. It's, well, it's not funny. Question. You know of Bonebrook School when? At what point in a year? See, when they come to Portland? Yeah, man, definitely. Oh, cause, cause it's not before Portland at all. It's since Portland. Because when they come to Portland, you know what? To Bombrook School. School. Yes, true. I think it's synonymous to here. Yes. Seriously. Yes, yes, yes. A true man. I saw it set. 
Nobody Though from nobody some from women Saint just Mary attracted Saint Thomas know about know about that. Bombrook school? Yeah. No, I don't I doubt that. Unless they've come here and oh, been around. It. Yeah, yeah. That's some box at a Bombrook school. <laughs> All right. So as and, a and, and them time there? I see um I see in a school all the so them do that talk, you know. And if a bomb book primary. Oh, okay. I'm okay. talking about um Port, An Port Antonio High. Port Antonio High. Oh, okay. So back in the days it, 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 it the name um Port Antonio Secondary. Yeah. Okay. Our people used to call it Bombrook School. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> All right, so we were on the other issue With the bad man of thing. bad women, you know, so quote-unquote soft girls who talk, like bad men. One girl tell me that personally. Yeah, I've heard it too, that's why right, I... Right, she I, tell I, me that straight up, say, she can't find a liking. They were never involved. Yeah. But me that try one little, make a little talk, and she tell me, say, boy, I'm not... goody, goody. Yeah, me not fit the profile. Yeah, you well, is a nice guy for you. You well, is a nice guy, I said all the time. Hands down, wonderful man. Huh. So but I should I should have go to the next. I, I, I should have you rude should, buck up. Look at that man there. You should have <laughs> buck up rude. You don't know something else, right? <laughs> 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 so good girls, quote unquote, good girls, quote unquote. Yes, they like bad boys. Bad boys who will have the world of girls. Bad boys who will slap slap them up. Is it that them are trying to tame them? They want to be the person of it. Calm them down. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like an agenda, them have a... I think it's a psychological... Uh, psychological, you're, miss, you're, miss, you're missing the, the point, and mm. you're also, in a sense to me, fooling yourself, yeah. because our meaning of them think that it's that good to be able to change somebody. Something. Yeah, proving something to themselves, because sometimes I think a lot of women, not only with bad guys, mm. but they go but into relationships, conquest. yes, to see how they can conquer and quote unquote rule by changing the well, man when they're in it. Can, come, you know. And dun, dun. I don't know. I don't know. But there are women who I know they're in their aisle boots and stuff and they, they want a man who slap them up and beat them up. Wop, Every wop, now and wop, again. Wop, wop, wop. Yeah, they, they find it attractive or it turns them on. I don't know. Is it psychological? Is it a sign of madness? I'm just asking, you know, real talk. Dan Dan. Yeah, hey, Daddy Road. Oi. You, you never hear the phrase to Bobbuck School in a song, eh? No. Most of Portland artists that. Me hear a reggae release the other day, man. And Must be a Portland like, artist. Like the brother, I, I, do, the, I do the song. And in, in, in like substitute some, like some experience. And he said to Bobbuck School. Oh, oh. Me, me he must have yeah. had some affiliation to so, Portland. So don't, so don't, so don't think it's on the, it's on the Portland as no, about it. No, sir. Yeah. That person yeah. must have some form of affiliation to Portland or Port or, or a Portlander. <laughs> no, well, I don't, I don't believe it. I don't, I don't believe. It. Look here, when when a Portlander said they are foreign, then I, I, I use the term to so bomb look school. You don't think um, another bridge who said come from Santana, you know, would pick it up and, and use it? No. Yeah. Oh, it, well, yeah. it, well, it is possible, yeah, yeah. but then again, they still had well. some connection with a Portlander. That's the point I'm making. Yeah, might pick it up because they can't find use the word to. Yeah, and then it might, might, might be repeated so the person yeah. catch on to it. But just out of the blues, somebody from Westmoreland who have never heard that term. Let's come up with Bombrook yeah, School, sir. No, sir. No, but but we but in language we we take up things that we that, that we that we like or, or admire, you know. So so are you trying to say to me that um, if someone uses the term expletively, Bombrook School, you know, it's almost it's almost them alone who use it. Put, admire the term. I put it this way, Dan Dan. That's not what I'm saying, Dan Dan. I'm saying here, 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 they, here, 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 they came here, in contact with someone we, we, who would have, we, would have, have been have from do, Portland. Would have to do a contact tracing. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh. By the way, speak about Bumble School. When was Bumble Primary School built? I'm not sure. I think kind of the early 90s. Early 90s? Yeah, or late 80s. But yeah. I, before Gilbert or after Gilbert? After Gilbert? Almost after Gilbert, man. If not, I, I think after Gilbert. 
Because because, because when, when when me I got primary school. Yeah. Right? When me left primary school. You yeah, have, you me, have me, left me, primary me, school me, about me, 1980. Me not think. Me not think. Uh, 1980 me left. Me not think. So. Uh, no, man. 1980 me have four. Oh. Yeah, because uh, when you got primary school, there was no Bumbrook school for you. Because no, sir. Primary school. No, there was no Bumbrook school in time there. But, but mm -hmm. I, I never Bumbrook primary school get that name there, brother. A senior eh? school, a senior school, they get that name there. That was what they used to call it, senior school. No, 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 just, just, just on the time. Um, no, because I had some version that I did, that, that, that I tried to get when Bumbrook school started. Okay. Bumbrook primary. Primary school. You, you, you can't ask Louis Lecky, because he used, to, he used to teach them football down there. Who? Oh? Louis Lecky. Okay. Thursday night groove. You know, you know, you know school started like, like in the early 60s. Yeah. Mm. All right, brother. Dan Dan. Dan Dan. Yeah. What's your yeah. take with women who love bad boys? Do you think yes. something is wrong with them psychologically, or is just a preference like anybody else's preference? Women who love bad boys? Yes, boys who, men who have a lot of girls and they are a part of the mix. And w men who will slap them up now and again if they do something that they don't like. And w yeah, men who talk to them anyhow because they are the don or the boss. But men, but men, men who, women who love, um, women who love men who have a lot of girls. The men, the men who have a lot of girls have a lot of girls for a reason. Because I guess because of some attraction. So if another woman is attracted to somebody with a lot of girls, not no wrong with that. And nothing is wrong with the one who will, she wants the one who beats her. I'm not saying anything is wrong with it. I'm asking you if you think the woman, something is wrong with her. No, man. No, 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 no. So the woman who thinks that the bad boy has to slap her up and she loves that, that's fine too? No, 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 no. no. Slap up, slap up is, a, is, a, is a different thing. Every over there stick a bush here, sir. So if it is that she likes a man, there are women who will say, I want a man who just have one woman, me alone, or one burner man. And there's another woman who will say, look, if him not have Park girls that chase back at him, me not want him. And you're saying that's okay. But if the woman wants a man who slaps her now and again across the cheek and box box her up when he's ready, that's something is wrong with that one. Yes, 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 back, 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 like slap her up, slap yeah, man. Up. Slap her up, and she do something wrong, and him no, just no, come no, in and just slap her up. Listen, me not can do no bar my slap up. Do you think something is wrong with her for wanting a man like that? I, I don't think it's that you want a man like that, you know. But look here, so, sometimes liking you know, or loving or being somebody can be, um, for want of a better word, addictive. Because when, when you're encapsulated by a certain feeling, it, it, it's hard to shit that feeling. So, really? So the, 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 the woman who, who is in, an, in, a, in such an abusive relationship, um, she might want to leave, but then the man might come with some enticement and, 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 the, and the <laughs> continue to reconvene. Now, look here, I have in the past, me no woman who, who we know abuse and me another part and, and say, look, you have to left the man there, you know. And, you know, and, 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 and it's not a good friend too. Me tell him it's not to leave. Hmm. So, and you know, it's all sort of reason why, 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 them, why them can't leave. But, but um, there, there are cases... I don't, I look, I don't condone it. I, 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 I don't support it. But at the same time, at the same time, I, I, I never condemn a woman who, who, who remains. She have a preference here, sir. Remain. Okay. All right, sir. Mm. Thank you. All, All right. right. So you heard the views of some of the men here, or, or male listeners. Very, very interesting views. Talking about um, women and abuse and so on and so forth. There's a, I want to play an audio. This has been circulating on social media, and you know it's pretty much close to what, pretty much close to what you are talking about now. Mm -hmm. And um, 
in, 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 in a different way. Okay. In a very different way. All right. So just before that, let's play what that um, what seven eight six said because he made a comment earlier. And we want to read it before we go to the audio. A true man. I saw it set. Some women just attracted to bad boys because good boys go to heaven, and bad boys being heaven to you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Bring heaven to you, I guess. Okay, 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 okay. All right, so, so we go to right. that audio. Yeah, it's all right. Here and goes. afterwards, you tell me your view on it. All right. Hey, I need a moment of your time. Quick, fast. It's not going to take me that long. Sometimes when I wake up in the morning, I wake up in the morning with books in my head. And this morning, I woke up with The Given Tree by Shel Silverstein. It's one of my favorite stories. And it's a story about a little boy that found favor with a tree, and this tree loved this little boy. And the little boy would go to the tree and he would say, let's play, and the tree would sway, and the tree would let the leaves come down, and he would pick the leaves up and he would make a lion's mane. And When the boy got hungry, he dropped apples, and the little boy would drop, pick up the apples, and he would eat the apples. And then when he got tired, he said to the tree, I'm tired too, and the tree said, well, lean on me, lean on me, and, I, and I'm gonna give you rest, and my shade is gonna block the sun. So the little boy said, hey, I'm hungry again. So the tree dropped down apples, and he picked up the apples, and he ate it, and the little boy went away, and when the little boy came back, he said to the tree, he said, you know what, I, I, I don't wanna play. I, I, I wanna make some money, and I'm older now. And so the, the tree said, okay, well, Pick up my apples, gather them, and, and, and go sell them, and, and that'll give you money. So little boy went away for a long time, and little boy came back, and he said, you know, I don't want to play, and I'm not hungry. I, I, I'm i making money, but I, I want to get a wife, and I want to get a family, and, and I need to build a house. I have to prepare for my family. So the tree said, well, I don't have any money, but look, I got branches, and, I, and, I, and my home is the forest, and there's trees all around us. Gather the trees and cut off some of my limbs. And, and you go build a house for your family because I want you to be happy. So the little boy ran and he did that and he came back and then he said, I'm tired. I, I, I just want to get away. You know, I, I, I need a boat. Can, can you give me a boat? And the tree says, well, I, I don't have a boat, but, you know, my stump and my whole body, it, 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 it can build a boat. So cut me down. Cut me down and, and you get your boat. And, and you, as sad as I'm going to be, I want you to be happy. You build your boat and you go away. So the little boy went away for a long time, and the tree was unhappy. But when the little boy finally came back, he was old, he was feeble, he was frail. And he said to the tree, he said, I'm tired. You know, I, I, I'm just exhausted. I'm beat. I don't need money, and my teeth can't even eat the apples. But, but I, I, I'm, I just want to rest. And, and the tree said, well, I'm a stump now. You've taken all I had. I only got a stump left. Your knees are feeble. Sit, sit down and let me give you rest. And the little boy sat down and he rested. Mothers are that tree. Wives are that tree. We give and we give and we give until there's nothing left. The funny thing about the story is, as I begin to flip through the pages, when I begin to read it to my children as they were babies, Nowhere in that story did I hear or read where the little boy nurtured the tree. The little boy didn't put fertilizer down. The little boy did not put water down. The little boy didn't ask the tree, do you need anything? That book hit home as I deal with so many women who are just drained. They're drained and, and the families keep taking and taking and taking and taking and taking till there's nothing left. But a little stump. Take a moment today and, and ask your wife, do you need anything? Can, can I help you? Children, just take a moment and ask your mom, mommy, can I do something for you? Because the worst thing you could do is just keep taking and taking and taking and not replenishing. The wonderful thing about life is as we become adults, we realize that love is recyclable. You put love in and you get love out. We as women, as Miles Monroe said, we are incubators. You, you give us something and we'll give it out. You give us heaven, we'll give you heaven. You give us hell, we'll give you hell. You put a seed in us, we'll give you a child. 
You give us a vision and we'll help you birth it. But the little boy was just so selfish because it's a book about selfishness. Where he just took and he took and he took and he went away and he disappeared for years. But when he needed something, he came back. He came back to her, but yet she kept on giving. And she kept on giving until she became a little stump. And even though she said to him, I have nothing left. What she had left, she gave it. And one thing about women, we give, we give us, we're nurturers, we'll keep giving, we'll keep giving. But the person that keeps taking needs to stop and pause and say, wait a minute. I got to nurture that thing so she can have something to give me. So many husbands are dealing with women who are angry because you're taking, you're taking, you're taking. And what are you putting back into your wife? So that when you come home, you can receive peace. You can receive a meal. You can receive everything that you need. What are children doing to say, mom, I need, and for her to give of herself, her time, her energy, her finances, or whatever, for you to get it, you have to show her that you're grateful. You have to show her that you appreciate her. I know for my mother, God rest her soul, she went home, but when she went home, I remember that she put so much in me that was beautiful that every Thursday she received fresh flowers from me. Every Thursday, like clockwork. I would take her into the store and I would say, don't get one pair of shoes, mommy. Get all three. Whatever you want, you get it. I would nurture her and I would sit at her feet and I would glean from her and I would learn from her. And she was able to understand that I not just was her daughter, but I was her friend. The story is so profound. We can learn a lot from children's books. We really can. Because it teaches character. It's a character building process that you put in the child and hopefully it'll stick. But we are the giving trees, women. We give, we give, and we give. And we have people who just take in our family, our husbands and our children. They just take and they take and they take. Because the little boy even didn't say, well, tree, do you need anything? You need me to mow the grass around you, do you? But the tree said, I want you to be happy. Do you realize how strong it is for women to sacrifice themselves? I was speaking to a girlfriend the other day, and I'm going to let you go. And she said that she watched her mother feed everybody, but she never ate. She watched her mother um, do things, but she didn't do. Because mommy had counted the pennies to make sure that they ate. And even though she sacrificed it because she didn't have. I, I remember even as a little girl, I shared the story, and my mother could not afford all of us to have McDonald's at the same time because even though my father worked and he made good money, there were times when she had to budget. And one time she took us to McDonald's on Fulton Street and she bought one Big Mac and she had four children. And she cut the Big Mac in fours and got a large fry and she gave us a little bit of the french fries, a large soda, and poured us a little bit. And since we were children and babies, that was enough. And she would sit back and she would just watch us eat and she would smile because she was giving us something. One thing about women, we give because it makes us happy. But we're not to be taken for granted because we do that, because God has given us that ability. Understand the story of Adam and Eve. Adam had, Eve received. And so if you're a husband, please understand that your job is to replenish your wife. If you're a mother, your children's job is to replenish you. Don't wait for your birthday, holiday, Christmas, nah, 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 nah. That's fine. But get a replenishment day. And tell your children, even if they're small and they don't know, today, you're going to do the dishes. Today, mommy needs a break. Today... We're going to give you a coupon, and that coupon is to rub mommy's back. Because sometimes children don't know, but when children get older, don't allow them to drain you dry. Don't allow your husband, hopefully if he's smart, he'll get this message and say, it's time for me to replenish my wife. The Giving Tree is a wonderful story. I admonish you all to get it if you've never heard the story. And if you've heard the story, apply it. I admonish couples to get it and read it to each other. That's what I would do if I was counseling couples. Read The Giving Tree to each other. So that you won't be selfish and you realize that your husband or your wife needs replenishment, women specifically. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Hallelujah is all I can say on that one. It's a beautiful story. I've heard it before, but I kind of forgotten it. And it's just one of those stories. And as I was listening, can I honestly tell you, all that was coming to my mind was what does I ring out the poor tree? I stress out the poor tree. Shake it off all that it has gotten. 
And that's exactly what happened. You know, every down to the tara, very, tara thing. Every tara, tara, tara bit of it. Yeah. Yes, Marvin. Thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> All right. So. You know. And, and you know. I, I like the story. But, yes, I do. But, but I, there but, are but, also but men. I, I must issue. admit. Right. There exactly. are men in a woman's and, shoe. And that's, that's exactly yeah. one of the one of the reasons why there are men I wanted give. to share it because and women just take, while I do understand take. what she's saying the essence of what she's essence saying, of yes. what she's saying for it to be unilateral yeah you know we take issues with that yeah yeah you know there are a lot of situations out there where men really and truly oh yeah they vote. And are giving their right. all, and women just ringing right. them out dry not, too. Not necessarily just just women. Not necessarily just a partner with them have. Yeah. You know, both males and females. Yeah, them have all them friends and families. Yeah. Right and family where. Yeah. No matter what, them never tell them know it, and them keep coming back. True man. You know, for them situation is always put on the back burner yeah. and them end up prioritize other people's situation. Yeah. And when them need when that person need them, them the they're other people they're them busy. Yeah. Yeah. And when I have to look on the story in a broader, broader spectrum. spectrum. Definitely. Saying because you know, you, you do have you know that individual whether from your community or wherever where you yeah. know say yo, anything you can say yo, make a link that's somebody there. And, and they never they, they never say no, but how much time wanna really take out take out the phone and say, yo, you're good. Real talk. You know, no for them, yo, you know, say me have one so and so I want you to help me out with it. Yeah. Yeah, man, and forward. If you ever can't help them, they they probably turn against you. And they vex. Probably vex with you. Yeah. 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 What you mean? Say yo, I boy but boy that's something and and it's just all about their problem. They even have friends to king. Yeah. What you will call? And once the phone ring, them start telling about but for them problem. Mm -hmm. And you call them for try if you kinda of say, yo, you know, say boy, I may I go through a situation, but no, mm -hmm. because it is always all about all them. About them. Them now recognize. Call her online. Call her. Good night again, Donald. Welcome back. Yes. Yeah. You know, so let me listen closely to that clip that my daddy would play, Mm-hmm. And um she 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 be What's the word? Reiterating or... Reiterated, yes. Right. Um, go back to the creation story. Mm -hmm. Was man made for woman or woman made for man? Hmm. That, that's, you just look back on the creation story, the whole Adam and Eve thing. I think the book said woman was created, I don't remember, for the man? I don't remember which one. Where you go? Yeah, man. Woman was created for the yeah, man. Yeah, that's what I remember reading. Right. So, basically, the man... How <coughs> come that for this? The woman, in a fear story where she attacked you know, it's like the frustration of giving, 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 giving. But in the creation story, it was... God saw that the man needed needed one. a woman. Right, so he make one. Yes. That's right. The little boy, I come to the tree because the tree is a female. Yeah, that's right. The tree, I grow the apples. The tree, I grow the branches. The tree, I grow the leaves. Because the female grow things. Mm hmm So I come to her, I come to him. He used to tell you where God give him to him. Yes. Yeah, son. Yes. Uh, when she has kick out and she has a boy. No, no, no. I think you... Hold on, hold on, Donald. I think you missed her somewhere there because but I... Sorry, I don't <laughs> think... I don't think she had a problem with the fact that the boy came back and kept getting... The yeah, problem, I think, the yeah. problem, I think, is... The boy it, made a year about nothing. Exactly. He wasn't even doing anything to his sister to be able to continue giving him. So no weeding yeah, off the, the grass the around it and no... You know, that... I do to some I have more respect for you for that statement that we met. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't a woman who was supposed to be talking here. Was it supposed to be a male? 
Jangan. Ya. Kalau mana nak ingat 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 <laughs> oh boy. But but I agree, I agree that men, there are men who go through a similar fate in every aspect of the world. Yeah. Real talk. Every single thing. Back to the road boy situation. Yes. Hold on, Donald. Hold on. Are you telling me that a man who does not slap her up and a man who does not have a holy for girl, a gallus man, you're telling me that that man is a wimp? Clear. No, 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 no. Don't clear, clear. me. Clear. clear. We're on the break. Hold that thought. Call us back. <laughs> <laughs> it's 1030. I want to hear more after this break, people. So he's going to call us back. The time is brought to us by VJ Printing Services. And Real Talk is sponsored by the only Nessal. We soon come. Hello? You have one minute, cause on a Friday night, me have a tune in to Real Talk on Stars 96 FM. Me and you have questions about love, birds and the bees. Not to mention the ticks and the fleas. So you try tuning on a Friday night between 9 and 12 for Real Talk. At the show we discuss everything real and nothing ideal. Architects, draftsmen, and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high-quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high-quality white paper printing that is water-resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 8 Eight nine three two two six six. Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting, and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party, or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Rail Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. The views expressed on this program are not necessarily the views of Native Broadcasting Network or Styles of it. Welcome back, y'all. Mm-hmm. Very, very interesting. Donald is alluding that a man who doesn't necessarily slap up the girl or a bad boy, gallus boy, is a wimp. And I wonder what we talk about. Donald is back on air with us, people. Let's hear what else he's saying about this man. Who? Yeah, but you know, I'm not really like. Mm-hmm. I would like um, Navlet, um, New York. What's your name again? Charm. Charmy, Charmy. Yeah. But you I sure like, you want your friend Charm on a topic here? Yeah? Uh, well, I don't know, but I like your Charm, Navlet. Um, it has yeah, like a sweet voice, so I know. Um, Carleen. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, maybe Carleen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Boy, you're the woman, you on this thing. I want you to know, you know, women love rude boy. Really? I'm going to ask that, man. Women love men who behave like man. Hold on, <laughs> hold on, hold on. <laughs> hold on. <laughs> Donald, hold stop. On. Men, women love men who promise to us. Uh, what? I'm going to ask that, man. <laughs> it's not the Bible, can tell her, can come back and tell her, man. Oh, my goodness. They love him. King Solomon, can come back and tell her again, too. Him did, him did really loved by some of them women, you know what I'm Women are like men when a beard like them, man, man. I agree with you on that, but if based on our context earlier, where we're coming from with the conversation, and who I mention and describe to you, if you're telling me that that kind of man is a man that be like my man because him rough and him slap her up and him whatever. 
it where a woman can kiss him around her finger and, and you know, we have a long <laughs> time I'm going to dialysis treatment, you know, man. So, which is something come out, you know, man. And this brother asked her yesterday, said, if now nah wash him woman, a woman underwear. Now nah wash it. He will do everything else here about him, now nah wash it. I wonder why that fool wouldn't wash it. You understand? Because you have some woman or the woman use all the underwear and beat him, you know, man. Woman no want them man there. A man who a man who is stand up like him, a man. This is when I go to school, you know, when I go to school, back to the day, 70, 60, 80, 80, 80. If you are a rude boy, you have all of the pretty girls, you know, man. But if what was a rude boy? A rude boy then was described as what? Well, I don't know how to describe it. Because it's one thing I know. And even, you know, so what they may ask my daughter something, you know. And... My daughter, I told her to become a doctor like her mother. Mm-hmm. And she, and when she tell me, she tell me, say, a certain type of guy, a boyfriend. Mm-hmm. I'm going to I'm go back and do some research. And I said, God, you're you trouble, you're you 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 going to be a doctor. And I think I'm a musician, you know. Oh, the first, first. I don't really know I expect you love, here. man. Mm-hmm. And I really, the, the musician or the profession when I'm out is just that he bring out a certain thing. Oh. The men love the man who bring out a certain thing. Oh. Now, let, let me hear from you. All right. Um, all of them more I hear because women love rude boys. All right. Thank you, Don. Uh, thank, thank you, Don. All right. We're going to do something a little bit different tonight. Um, we're gonna play the the box pop audio first, and then now we we'll tell you what tonight's discussion is gonna be about. All right, so we're gonna go into that right now. Ah, <laughs> oi, romantic. <laughs> ah, I don't know she a beat tattoo, you know. Yeah, man, she a beat tattoo, man. I and I the romantic one. So what I and I do is I go down to one and a half. You get me? Yeah man, I and I go one and go one and a half. So my time is not even bother with it. Yeah. Because you know if you receive certain things, you yeah, have to give certain things. And I and I not getting certain things, so I and I just leave romance for the next girl that we are going up with. Oh so you go. Go on bex bex, go on boss boss. Uh, lyrics, lyrics, lyrics. I am a poet, you know. And I um, tease the ladies uh, gently with my words. Uh, I yeah, speak very softly. And uh, yes, I am. I roll up on them. And no, 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 I get that to that. Not at all there. I'm not going to give you none of the lyrics that I use at any girl at all, fam. No, fam. Yes, of course. Are the easiest get away if you have an argument with your partner and your friend say, come make we go, go hang out and have a drink. And are the easiest way that fit with one, two, three, you run, go and go hang out and have a drink. Yeah. <laughs> Very easy. Easy, easy way. Because me, one, two, three, me gone. As long as me not have nothing to do, or me have something to do, me hurry up and do it, and me say, all right, go go have a drink and chill out. Kill the vibes. Just like that. Real talk. Well, and a skill from one to five. Me, me say, me say, me da say, af, me a give four and a half. Right. And, on the other hand, charming words can captivate me, you know. Me no remember if all of my life that maybe, maybe when me was younger. But nothing of them a year and stage and no charming word can come in a for me vocabulary if you can capture my heart or capture me. Because the heart of me have it tougher than I feel I am right now. So me nothing said no charming word did they for captivate me in a no relationship right now. No lyrics, no did they? Yes, me play the, me, me phone sometimes and give lyrics and drop lyrics, but I know if you kept your nobody because guess what? Me no know if me can go back to for me ancient days when me could have 
thing say yes me can open my heart like that and give somebody not again me no see me no see coming and me no have that in my intention no more uh, may i get to the, first, the last part first you know big up on yourself real talk family first thing for argument start me start find a way to get out of that yeah so all go on you go on and wait 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 yeah no if a girl texts me and say oh jack forward hang out yeah man instantly i'm gone man first of all is a call if it's a call me get where me i put all the pan speaker yeah man i put the pan speaker man i said yeah right now i'm ready long time yeah man i'm gone man yeah man at then time they more get mad <laughs> I care I'm on the board. I and I kids. Right now, we are getting too much female, too much position. Some of them want, um, you know, no, I can't say that by real talk. I behave myself. Yeah, we have to get back to my position for the girl. Then, because they can't play football. Then, and enough of them want to pay too much forward. Is it me? Yeah, man, too much, they want to play too much forward, man. So I have to take back to my position from them, man. So right now, she goes up with my argument. Yeah, man, let me get a call. Straight. I'm sitting there. Speak on me, I put it on. I'm going on the road. No, no. I always me have the sweet words, them. I always me have the sweet words, them. One girl looked at me and she said, Yo, let me tell you something, man. Me here say, you can go on good enough. I say, yeah, can play ball. <laughs> Say yes, say yes. She has a yo, me I want. You know, I want to see me. I say, all right, cool, no problem. Don't bad me up though. You're not, you're not for bad me up, so. And she laughed as even what <laughs> sweet words. Hey, Jane, a girl not even ever write me a poem to write it. When them buy the little cheap car, them for my birthday, they write from to. <laughs> and, and my words, they were them, when I the car, them not even really much. Nothing really I said to me. It's one grateful. Welcome back. Right. <laughs> so if you're you can't just take care of my youth. Yeah. And if Welcome you're wondering back, if you're wondering what they're talking about. Oh boy. We're gonna um, <laughs> Charmy. And to think Charm's name is Charm. Yes. And Charm cannot be charmed. No, Charm. No sweet words. Right, no Charm, no warm, Charm hot. Mm, tell your boy. Um, interesting Vox Pop. So we go to the Vox Pop and just before that. 786, could you send us your name so we can add your name, please? That's um, 786. Him send the name. Um, send the name? Yes. Okay. Um, so, uh, Jamaica. Sometimes women don't really w- want w- roughneck men. Them just love men that are confident. I think every woman loves a confident man. Yeah, it does a lot. It says a lot. Yeah, and Marvin, I send the, the video here. All right. So, sorry about that, Marvin. I was um, en- engaging in some... Sweet chocolate. Yeah. Hmm. Like myself here. All right. So, our Vox Pop tonight, guys. Here goes. Keep it burning or head bursting. On a scale of one to five, with five being the highest, how romantic is your partner? Hmm. And how important is romance to you in a relationship? Is it important in the relationship or is it really neither here nor there? Or it's really, really mostly about the money, money, money? Or is it just really about the nookie, nookie, nookie? Once you get it, you're good. Um, once you get the money, you're good. Or does romance have its place? Is it something of importance to you? How important is it to you? in the relationship have you ever been captivated by charming words from a sweet mouth man ladies a sweet mouth you know what sweet mouth mean yeah in, we say anything to get you <laughs> in mouth the smooth like butter <laughs> yeah in slick you know exactly what to say and what type of woman to say what to and what type to say whatever else to he is a sweet mouth man have you ever been captivated with, by charming words? Him get you, him, him get your heart weak. 
yeah, and you fall into him. Maybe you're still together now. Maybe you had a good time while you were in the relationship. Maybe it's over now, but while it lasted, it was good because he captivated you ladies with him sweet mouth. Men. And I think the men are harder to, for this to happen to them than anything else. Men, mm-hmm. have you ever been captivated? I lie, you are tell. I don't think so. <laughs> have you ever been captivated by charming words from a sweet mouth woman? <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think any man out there can admit that a woman swept him off his feet with her charming words. I don't think so. What are some of the lyrics that you've used or some of the lyrics that you've come across that would have been captivating? Ah. You and your partner had an argument and in the midst of the tension, you get an invitation to go hang out with a friend. Uh-huh. Would you accept or not? And if you would, explain. If you, won't, if you wouldn't, explain. No, maybe things got so heated that the road that she walking him out. It could be a good thing. We we'll soon come to it. <laughs> <laughs> first part, though, we take the first part, guys. Have you ever been, sorry, on a scale of one to ten, one to five? Five is the highest score. Um, how romantic is your partner? How important mm. is it to you when it comes down More to the answer that first. Oh, yeah, I say. Mm. Straight up, I'm mean, gonna think. All right, we we'll probably have to look into what is the meaning of romance. Mm-hmm. You know, mm. our, our, our romantic because putting together it's a different definition for everybody. Yeah, putting it together, may I try for myself really and truly. Because if, if you think about where, where, where you sit in the, mm. in the tabloids and, 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 the, and, hey. and the movies, them and them something there. I mean, no, but what up. is your romantic? What is yeah. your romantic? Because well, your romantic could be. Well, big man thing, it asks what you think about your partner. Me, 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 would, me, would, me would have given mom probably all one. one. <laughs> God no. I mean, I say mom, mom's, <laughs> ma, mom's not romantic. <laughs> it's what I say. And if me really pray, I'm not sure how much woman we ever talked about me would have given even more than two. What? God no. About the right one. Yeah, well, probably me about the right, the right woman. But you know, look here. For romance, you're going to bed to yeah. Tara. Yeah. To Tara, Tara. <laughs> you see, hey, let me show you something, King Mitchell. A sister do a thing one time, you know, bro, and she not, she not even did all me, me, my girlfriend. You see me, the treatment, the lap dance. It's, look up so clear, <laughs> clear like clear, to clear like get whiplash. I know those things. You see me? I got it locked. Them that. <laughs> <laughs> see in general, <laughs> them that look something there, you know. What was, what was the first one though? At the lap dance. No, the, the, no, the no, no, I said, I said the treatment. Oh, you see me? Okay, cool. Yeah, look pan um. Sit down and, and take time off a plan all one, one lunch or one dinner, one mm. day. plan it, you know. Do you call giving you a pedicure and a manicure romantic? No, me get that. I'm asking you a question, sir. Would that be considered romantic? No. Where the person just decides to just do that for you? Oh, if they're if they going to do it personally? Yeah, man. And squeeze all your bum, pamper you? Yeah, man. Me think pampering is a different form of romance. Yeah, cut it loud. You see me pampering? Huh. You see me? Yes. So. Hey. And I scale of one to five, I never get a six. That's what I try to tell you. <laughs> you can't grade yourself, you know. Uh, okay. But now that you are at it, go uh, and say that you have a six. Because you don't know, you, you don't know your thing, you know. Uh, you see me? <laughs> see? So, when me I pray, I pride in that. I don't think me, me, have, me can't speak no whole lip mm-hmm. in a good way. Maybe a sister, sister have to call me and remind me of a one-half thing what she do. So, me think that romance is not a one-off activity. True. You can't be on Continuous. birthday. Continuous. Alone, your member for treat treat the person for your, for your dinner. You so, see me? coming home and cooking a nice batch and of dinner. Yeah. Surprise the person. Yeah. But, 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 but here, you know. Know. Shoes. 
Ay. Sexy lingeries. The, 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 the ambiance. Uh -huh, the music. Yeah. Your, your, your outlook. Ha! Your outlook. Right. Listen. Proper. Majority of the time, even mm -hmm. when you talk about even the bedroom, or the, or the man, mm -hmm. we can select all the music and so they even go up on YouTube. Mm -hmm. See me? And find a, find a 90s R&B mm -hmm. set and, and run that. The woman them not do that, brother. As a matter of fact, enough woman if you even want if you put on all certain things a year ago, they want you bite for them. The, the, the whole the whole package of of, of romance and them something there. Cause I be a bad probably me one of them man. I be a bad woman me like bad as. Being romantic is innate. It could it could be, it but it, it it can be. For me, it is. It can be somewhere a woman learn. Come, you see me? Come, it's a craft. Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Some women master their craft. It's a film ego to swear you know in a king. Uh, ego does uh, big uh, like it's uh, a dope in a brother. <laughs> <laughs> I don't normally talk like this, but when I when you hit the nail on the head, brother. Uh, uh. <laughs> All right, so ah oh boy. Ladies, you gotta get it together. You got to know what to do to romance the gentleman so he sticks around forever and me ever. Not think, Amen. Me, me not think for a Jamaican woman know about romance. Some of them do. You know, me not, me not think them know that. Some of us do, man. You see me? Hmm. Hold on. Romance. Conducive to or characterized by the expression of love. Of, characterized by or suggestive of an idealized view of reality mm. romantic attitude and uh, romantic beliefs uh, da -dum 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 -dum. all right so basically the first one is mainly it conducive to or characterized by the expression of love so what you do you're showing your some level of a strong affection for the person so mm. it's not just about having sex mm -mm. but it's about making that person feel appreciated yeah. feel loved feel yeah. Special. Yeah. And you have no qualms about showing them how special they really are. So whatever you're doing, that is expressing that to them. And they must feel it because they say, boy, she go outside the box. Or she, she I never had to ask her for this. Or nobody had to tell her to do it. She just decided to just do this for me. Then I must be special to her. Yeah. And you can feel it. I know, so, I know, I know, I the ladies, they get it wrong, you know. When I talk about the facts, eh, you know, you buy a gift or you you do certain things we talk about the novel style mm -hmm. you know the style where you know say boy a man reach home and y'all start all take off him boat and take off this and all can't go back and he's in there y'all swoop up in rag and beat him mm -hmm. you see me I say ah, then it goes something we, we want to treat a whole part time king nice. yeah a whole part time king but, yeah. but, but your teeth too no, no, I didn't choke with. I'm not trusting. I'm not trusting in another level. How many shoes? <laughs> you see it now, King? Why if, if he's a man of thinking foot? Man, and every man of thinking foot. Most me no, do. I don't no brandish that. I <laughs> don't no brandish that. See it? But what may I say? <laughs> you see what I'm going to do, King? You see what I'm talking about, General? Because I'm going to ask you. What may I tell you? you well, you know, this is because you're romantic. <laughs> You would just walk with something, just pray foot with something, man. Spray foot no, with something. No, me take it off fast and just run my bar through it. Yeah, man. See, King, enough of the time, if you, really, if you really do the math, see? I would have the man would have tempted for even go in at the shower with the woman while she had been. No, you want something? No, for the time. Not necessarily. No, for the time, King. They never want y'all in the bathroom with them. You want you something when you come in there? And, and, then, no. and then, oh, wash over back. If and we said, always come to the back and start washing all our body and then something. Back, then you can wash the back. No, but, but it no matter. A romance, we're a romance, you know. You want something <laughs> to sell. A <laughs> you know that? to come for. You know that? Come in there. You know that? 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 You know I she had to take you up. We could just clear the part there, you know. Clear the part there. I want you to take it up. No, no. No, no, we're not here. No, no, we're not here. Yo, oh. so I said, King, what's our thing for weeks, man? Uh -huh. You know, I take up that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, ain't no good in the daddy road. <laughs> ah.
FM 96.1. <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> Yo, we, we, we have to kick that go, go up on slope, man. Kick, kick the soap. Did you reach one slope? At your arms never before that, te- before that touch, man. We're not, we're not, no. It's what you talk about. No oh mash up the show. <laughs> no mash up the show, clear. No come mash up the show tonight. Hello, Kimoy. Oh goodness. I'm not mashing up any show. Oh boy. All right. <laughs> but, 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 but it's. You know, much I'm attacked. It's good. You know, much I'm attacked. I always do that to you, right? (laughs) 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 It's like, oh, you must have my thumb when you started to show that picture that you showed me. Just remember, it's it's an eye for an eye right now. Yeah, much of a mess for true. Much of a (laughs) mess. Oh, boy. So it's, it's, it's good when a woman can be romantic. Yeah, man. It is important for a woman to be romantic and not just expect the man alone to be romantic. It goes a very far away. But then again, for a man who is you know the romance thing, just you know the boof 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 baff 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 and just cut on go through and when I sex time, I just sex them and that's it. And him just <laughs> and done. No line up and pillow and cuddle up and nothing like that. You know? What do you say about a man like that who just in hardcore? You know, have the love of his side to him. Mm. He, he cares about her. He'll, you know, do little things. He'll do things for her or give her stuff. Yeah. But then when it comes on to the real passion part of it, he's not we oriented call passion. like that. Passion different from romance, you know? No, man. Passion, romance, bring out passion my youth. Not necessarily still. No, nah, man. But if you went to romance, me and I Ro- the Romance passion. is love and passion is infatuation. No, it's not. Yeah, man. Think no, about man. it, man. Uh, when we have a passion for you, every, every time you see my body, I call. That's a call. So, clear, clear, And, and, and it does romance me. No, man. Which chance you get? No, the, 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 the passion now are the, are the power, the type of delivery where you get. You know? <laughs> <laughs> the romance now, romance is mama and papa. No. You see me? Passion now. It's your, you know, passion fruit is. Mm-hmm. Oh, you have a, a, like a sour something yeah. like that. Mm-hmm. It, but it's nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Different something. Romance. But I now. want passion you see, and romance. You see, romance is strawberry. <laughs> you see me? Romance is strawberry. <laughs> passion now come like one sour line more so times. Strawberry and, and, and whipped cream is what? Clear. Don't you argue, no man. I'm asking you. I don't know what that man. <laughs> Peach, eh? Peaches and cream. Well, a hot wax we are fling for you, you know. Eh, eh, no, for me. Hot wax we are getting. Eh, eh. <laughs> no, no, and the hot stone, something, don't come to me with that one. <laughs> I'll take a simple oil body massage. Oil, just a regular oil. No hot wax, nothing. That's a good tip. And no hot stone, nothing. Tip, I like that. Tip, eh, eh. tip, tip. Tip, tip, So, hold on. Hold on. I will me, give you the hot wax. Let, 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 let me ask you a question. I will hot wax you. No, go hot wax, my dear. <laughs> 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 the hot box man, yes, my girl. I'm coming with your butt up business, you know. Ah. Don't, don't, don't you argue it again, man. You see? I could give you a full body massage. Let me ask a question. Hold on. Full body Are massage you saying to me, you said, else to it. What, what, what about when you put the um the massage oil in a in a hot water? Mm-hmm. You go to that one there? Eh? Yeah. Okay, they're not similar so thing, it's, man. Because it's not, then it's warm. It warm. So it gives, it goes into the skin even faster. Probably. We're not even like think about the skin yeah. part. We're not. We just want to know why we are rubbing down and you feel good and you moan a little bit. Yeah. Mm. You see me? <sighs> no, that sound not weird, man. <laughs> a, a massage, we are massage, we are massage, we are massage. Listen. Oh yes. Clear. Um, oh yes. King, we can find a different topic to talk about oh, tonight. Yes, right there, right there. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh yes, harder, harder, right there. Yes, you know what I say? Rub it, you, rub it, you, rub it. You, you, you know what I say? That? No, cause like right what? now, if me a girl, girl massage and me go on, so me I left him right <laughs> there, so. <laughs> right there, so me left him. He <laughs> kill the vibes, King. See? <laughs> In my but, but guess what? The same way you said expletives were used to bring on expression. Yeah. This girl, so she's there saying, Oh, you will. Tara, 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 Tara. <laughs> you, you're okay with that? Huh? I'm alright with that. No. But I'm you what get... you want now, Zane? I can't see for myself. <laughs> yeah, girl. Love. <laughs> it's not love. It's it's the passion of the, the, the massage. Thank you, Danal. <laughs> Thank you very much, Danal. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> That that right as a king, no sound like say, a me who a girl the massage. She what you about. mean? Seen? Clear. What she's thinking about? She think about some other fantasy man. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh, you're ungrateful. 
You're like the boy with the tree. You're well, ungrateful. Well, me would do it. You're ungrateful. No, but me would do it. Uh, she a rub me down king. She's just me. enjoying what the massage is feeling like. So she's just expressing. And all those tones and groans are coming out because the massage. Have you ever been stiff? Hold on, I'm not finished. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, yo. Have you ever been so stiff and tense? I am not done. Where's your mind gone? Where's your mind gone, Mitchell? What, what's sweet, yo? Have you ever been so stiff in your shoulders, you see? In your shoulders and your neck. Listeners, I know you, talk, you know what I'm talking about. And when you get that touch on that stiffness of your body, hey, and when that, those hands start to rub that stiff area, eh? it feel, it feel good, it feel good, it feel good. You just let us spread, we just, oh. King, yes. I longest hey. break this tech for No, shoot. Let's look for the tech clock. Have you so. ever felt that way? Your shoulders stiff up bad. It's true, now, like, what? Where are these people's minds? Where are your minds gone? <laughs> Where are your thought process gone, Novlet? I have been stiff before. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. I mean, tell you, say, if I get a massage, boy, at the time, I just feel nice. You know, King. It feels nice, it's true. Just turn on clear, mate. I'll done, leave on my mic, yeah, man. When you're done, <laughs> when you're done rub the stiff part and it comes soft again, you feel like, oh. Eh? All of me did stiff. <laughs> no. My shoulder, my back. Yeah, man, most of them stiff up. See. You have been there before? The time is now 11 o'clock. <laughs> it's brought to us by VJ Printing people. Services. And, and Real Talk is sponsored by... <laughs> I don't want a romance. <laughs> Real talk is sponsored by Nessal. <laughs> I'm going to a break. And there's a hope so I get more back clear. Go on with your stiff self. <laughs> come back. <laughs> <laughs> Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting, and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party, or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Architects, draftsmen, and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high-quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high-quality white paper printing that is water-resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 893-2266 Hello? Walk one, baby. Talk fast. You have one minute. Because on a Friday night, me have to tune in to Real Talk on Stars 96 FM. Me and you have questions about love, birds, and the bees. Not to mention the ticks and the fleas. So you try tuning in on a Friday night between 9 and 12 for Real Talk at a show where we discuss everything real and nothing ID. The views expressed on this program are not necessarily the views mm. of Native Broadcasting Network mm. or Styles FM. Okay then. Welcome back guys <laughs> to Real Talk a much needed break. I think my co-host has run away from the studio. I'm not sure why. But... <laughs> My goodness, my co-host is gone. <laughs> I think he has taken a break. Take it. The heat is on. But you see, in topic says, keep it burning or head bursting. <laughs> I think he got so heated up that his head burst <laughs> in all of this. So <clears throat> I'll keep it. I'll keep it going. I, I'm, I'm in stitches. I'm seriously in stitches. My co-host is face. Listeners, is face a while ago when I said, have you ever been stiff? <laughs> I 
really was referring to, you know, that shoulder up here. So normally that's this, because even right now, man, yes, tension when you're overworked or, you know, you're not, you're not fitness necessarily physically active and then you're just overworked. I don't understand wh why, what he's thinking about. Okay. So now that was calling earlier. Now that please call us back. And I'm surprised that nobody is saying what she's saying. What am I doing, Noblet? I'm just talking about your body being so stiff that you want a massage. We're talking about massages. And Donald, <laughs> Donald, are you there? Donald? Not sure what's happening. Okay, so we get that call back. Marvin, you two. Nothing is wrong with my mic. <laughs> Why should I leave my mic? Huh. <laughs> okay, so we have Novlet calling back. Yes, Novlet? Hello. Yes, ma'am? I want to go use a song, can you see? Yes. <laughs> I want to have that room to get the side of the same No, he's not there. He's run gone. I agree with him. <laughs> I totally agree with you. Why? Cleo. No, you, you, you hear you? Cleo, mm? first thing to begin with you, when you get the massage, that the way all you behave. Yeah, because I saw me feel, me, me get massage, which will feel nice. And then you come back again and you say, you've been stiff. Yeah, me asking him if he's ever been stiff, because when I am stiff, okay. No, yes. Mm -hmm. Clear. Yeah. You never saw your body. Do you know what we are talking about? We don't know. We are talking about massaging, so you almost your body stiff. You make daddy roots run and run. Daddy roots are sweat. I think after tonight I'll be fired. I'm preparing myself, preparing myself to pack my things and go. <laughs> I put out a lamp of wine and watch him tell her that they're coming today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I don't understand. I'm genuinely asking if you've been stiff, meaning your neck and your shoulder. I even go as far as saying to him, have you ever, when I say, have you ever been stiff? He didn't give me a chance to finish the statement. He just start look at me like, how did I do money? You know? <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus. <laughs> no, sir. We can't manage you know. We can't manage you know. Daddy Ruth, did you send a text message? Come in. One text to, to me? Yeah, let's turn it. But it's good to calm, calm Daddy Ruth because it's when like, things like these now calm him nerves. I'm just, really? just cool him right because his topic says. His topic says, keep it burning or head bursting. And I'm keeping it burning, and then film it go burst. <laughs> it's really good tonight, Cleo. I'm <laughs> <laughs> not, not getting a WhatsApp, Navlet. Yeah, there's a clear stick beside you. You're lucky. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. All right, Nav. <laughs> eh? Did you get my number now? Yes. Okay, I'm trying to make sure you stick beside you, okay? I won't. Y your ear ain't calm? Your ear ain't calm down? Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Work funny, man. All right, Novlet. All right, Novlet. Oh, boy. Marvin? <laughs> Marvin said he's going to say I really don't know what, let's see what my listener here says. Hello, Donald. Donald? Hello? Yes, we're hearing you now. Uh, I'm going to tell you something, man. Mm-hmm. One of the best in the man. <laughs> Who is what now? Uh, Daddy Road. <laughs> Oi. XNXX.com. <laughs> no good like me, in a man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Yes. Hey, mama, you're much of Shelly. Hey, where you come from, <laughs> No, I, you know, honestly, honestly, Donald, it's not what y'all thinking. It wasn't me. I was just saying. Clear. <laughs> you, were, you were in your element. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, number eh? I mean, yes. Clear, <laughs> 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 
She's quite fine. Oh, God. <laughs> no pun intended, right? No pun intended. <laughs> Listen, clear. You just tell the people I'm really behaving. Yeah, but all of us have been there. I don't know what happened. You know me at top boat. Why not the road? If I didn't let me get some train, I wouldn't even go up. <laughs> 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 I brave me, brave it. Wow, the night, the night, the night, no sleeping. Oh, God. Very pretty one, Steve. Let's get it. Bad mama, tell ya. <laughs> All I can remember is, is that it was face <laughs> looking at me. <laughs> All right, Donald. But it's good that I can keep you up in this, you know, time and keep you going. <laughs> Oh boy, Daddy Road. Yes. I don't like the look you gave me, honestly. I, I genuinely just meant if you've ever felt that tension in your. I just didn't use the word tension, I used the other word, which is synonymous to, 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 to tension, stiffness. Fine. And you looked at me like, yo, don't want to see, man. Well, I, know. I, I mean, I R- had to. Remember, laugh I know. remember, I know. Your face was just <laughs> saying it all. R- I have a caller on the 453. Hello, caller, welcome to Real Talk. Hello. Good night, ma'am. Good night. How are you? I'm not too bad. I wonder where you met that before. It's a fan box. Me not know. I must go to the bathroom. Go cool down. I said. You need a sweat. <laughs> when you go to the bathroom from daddy room, I'm going to tell you. Man, don't think. When you make the key up, you make your run. I pick it up, darling. <laughs> <laughs> you must learn to be firm. Why you get up? All right, my darling. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Never in all my years of working with Daddy Road, he has never gotten up and left the studio. Oh my goodness, <laughs> this is probably the worst one. I've never seen you do that before. There's a first for everything. What, what, what point did you have to get up though? I'm realize I'm gonna get thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> the show dry out. Oh Lord, the show make him dry. Oh boy. Look here, huh? Good night, Theo from Ampton Court. Enjoying the show, laugh out loud. Glad you are, um, Mr. Theo. Oh, boy. I don't know. You're all twisting my, in, my intentions tonight. You took a whole different meaning to what I was saying, and I'm so offended. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy would laugh with the scorn right now. You know, I understand this. Oh, oh boy. Find the box pop question. Yes. Okay, right now. <laughs> um, so on a scale. The meds gone. No. Meds gone, right? Oh, sh- I'm going to bring it back for you. Don't worry yourself, honey. All right. So you're, uh, but, but you said Karen wasn't. But what about you? Ha ha. Uh, not, hold on. You're, you're the tree and the boy now. Remember, I know. Me done declare it. It's a certain <laughs> things. Me try, and it's just not my thing. I'm nearly born on the house. <laughs> See it? Yes, people. <laughs> For those who don't know, Daddy Rude on a scale of 1 to 10, on a scale of 1 to 5, would give himself a what for romantic? Well. A zero? Yeah, because. Oh, man. Because I decide so I'm not going to go that road there again, you know? So he ex- tried ex- to ex- be ex- rose. Ex- ex- Experience teach it wisdom. wisdom. Yeah. He tried to be romantic. But I still think he's got some left in it because I know I saw a picture of a lovely Definitely. of a uh-huh. lovely bouquet of roses. My God. Any woman who got that bouquet of roses would have melted <coughs> and Daddy Road, sorry, correction, Huel. <laughs> yeah, let me emphasize, emphasize, empathetically state. 
Hewell sent his wife, Karen, a beautiful bouquet of red roses. Oh my gosh. So guess what? He got something going on for him. Don't listen to him. He's not all that shaky. But how long ago but, that? Oh, yeah, true. All right. That's the next thing for true. So he, <clears throat> what, at one point, tried to be romantic. And he shared the story on this radio station already, on this show, and I nearly flipped. I mean, I flipped. He lit the candles. Me say, and it not talk again. He lit the candles, And it not talk again. And he lit the candles around the room. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yes. Put put fire upon them, yeah? And I was giving a, creating a nice ambiance. Fragrance. He was trying to, yes, the fragrance Scented. candles. Yes. And he was, and I'm just picturing that setting, beautiful setting. Mm-mm-mm. But then he's so rude and rough <laughs> that he was down on the bed, I guess, getting, getting his game on. Start fling pillow all about the place. <laughs> Apparently, fling one pillow, pon the fire, <laughs> Pillow catch fire. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I remember it. It's killing me right now. Picture catch, p- pillow catch a fire. And that was the end of the romantic evening because he have run up and dog now with the naked self <laughs> and try out the pillow with a pump fire. So that was a romantic disaster. <laughs> King. Then when the old oh, room gets so bright, you know, brother. <laughs> <laughs> I said, God, brother, I don't know what I'm. You know, yeah, do your thing I'm more time, too much things upon the, the bed. Lost say, yo, this is my way, man, because yeah, a bomb and just toss uh. that. See me? I'm, I'm dead. Eh? And the place will get bright. <laughs> Illuminated. Illuminated. <laughs> so, man, God, me don't, you know, me don't use, you also them and sit near, brother. Um, look, bro, the pillar and the fire, and then me go take up the pillar now in a bedroom. <laughs> Naked as a day, my brother and I run with the pillow. Because like, most of you will get burned. And you know, and you, and you know when um, something burns and it's something drip off? Oh! I tap on that in my yard. Oh my goodness. Oh my, I forgot that part of the story. Brother, I tap on the hat. Did you hold the pillow towards you, Willie? Clear. I'm asking, I don't know, I'm trying to picture it. Because it's supposed to be funnier that way now, if I hear it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh. By the way, your Willie was no longer ready. Never, never, ne- every, oh, everything, everything dead, gone. everything dead, oh, everything man. dead, rude boy. I have to carry the pillow going to the bathroom and turn on the shower. Mm-mm. Brother, I mean, the bond on the people in my house too romantic, you know, rude no. boy. Romance, I, romance no work for me, bro. <laughs> it no work uh, for me. And another time when he was much See? younger. That's why, that's why I always go get um, proposed to my wife and I'm going to go up and none in her, brother. Are you? Open that ear? Me sit down on the bed and I say, my girl, will you accept my last name? And I that no will you marry me. Me just cut out all of the cliche. Because <laughs> me go follow people, me go follow movie and they burn on the people in place. <laughs> me idiot. <laughs> I guess what? Rosemantic and a really vim thing with you. And my thing. Once, one another time, I remember. Me go movie and them something there, brother. But the other part. He, he used cheese tricks. In the girl's navel. Yeah, mama put chee chip in that girl's navel, but not cheese chip. Chee chip. Chee chip. Chee chip. And then he was eating the chee chip off the navel, and you know what chee chip do when water catch it? So, of course, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm imagining all of our navel just look like picnic, play up, play up, chee chicks. Wait up, wait up, cheese sticks? I don't know. Then Maybe. tell you, you don't know yeah. about no grip on the sitting man. You're a picnic, you're a young boy, just a learn the game, and you try sitting. You see me? <laughs> no, let <laughs> uh, go ahead, now that we're hearing you. If Not answer. sure, yes. Um, it's answered. Novelet, can you hear us? All right, so we hang up and call back, Nov. Not sure why we're not hearing you. All right. Um, so Daddy Road does not do well in the Rose Mansi department. But what about no. you, Mitchell? Would you consider yourself a romantic man? Expert. Give me one such case where you know you're romantic. What did you do that was so romantic? Drop candle wax on the poor girl? Oh, Jesus, you're cruel. Uh, <coughs> massage and them thing there. May we, may we do them thing there, but... But... Uh-huh. Yeah. Yes, Nov? Um, that a road? In Ghana, in Ghana. Yeah, different, yeah, different candle now. You don't have to use them one day anymore. Oh, <laughs> what kind of candle? Yeah. 
you have some nice if you want to know what you like battery. Uh huh. Yeah, oh. Yeah, you can't use, yeah, you can't use those. You don't have to buy like the fire anymore, Miss Sun. Miss Sun, be your own. Something I don't like you that try something and kill yourself. <laughs> Killing them literally be true, because they never come back up. <laughs> Why? Imagine, mm-hmm. you know, 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 it can't probably burn out. Yo. King, it's a traumatic experience, and I can't tell you that to my brother. Um, every time she passes her dresser and touch that, you know, the dresser, she know where the burn from the dresser. Ah, uh, and where it come from. It's a traumatic experience, yeah. man. I can't tell the you, King. The good thing with her is that she she started the, 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 the dancing, and it was enjoyable. Daddy would not get none at all. <laughs> <laughs> No, she didn't go back to the show, but poor daddy couldn't go back to the show. No, no. daddy couldn't. Oh, the star dead in the show. <laughs> <laughs> the star dead. Show the star. <laughs> Very bad plot. Very bad plot. Master, you ever hear of a star dead in the show? Master, you wonder how the show going go, don't it? <laughs> Can't end. Oh gosh, man. Oh, nobody, no <laughs> nobody at all in this case. <clears throat> so, Novlet, oh, share one of those experiences where you would say, Yes, I am romantic. What did you do that was so romantic? Me clear? Yes. No, me, I'm a romantic woman from me, no, my friend, and to me, all right now. Yes. Because if I eat the pants and do breathing on the back of your neck, mm-hmm. and, and I don't take my tongue and touch you on your back of your neck, and you know, then look at funny movements in the face. Yes. Case. But we have, uh, we would make a picnic for my carpet right now. You know? Mm-hmm. Get up, go in the kitchen, find something and come and say, don't find the carpet, and we have a little picnic. We don't know if it lasts for long, but mm-hmm. you know, the shoes, the women show them right for a poor daddy room. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah, I'm that kind of person. I'm a romantic person. I love music. Mm-hmm. I always have music around me. So that is a part that everything is about music. Yes. You know, you know who we not hear this long time from the show? Bright Eye. So Juana. So oh, yes, so Juana for true. Yeah, I've been hearing this long time. Maybe he's busy, you know? Busy doing what? So, 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 do you want her from Whitehall? Yeah, I think so, do you want her from Whitehall? I'm not here in this long time, man. True, true. So, I want Lolly to check up on Soji for me. Lolly up there in Whitehall. Check out what's happening with Soji. And let us know, all right? <laughs> all right, now, Vlad. All right. All right, so... All right, so Romance, I believe, is important. For those who don't think it is, then to each his own. But, you know, for the most part, it helps you to re- uh, helps to remind your partner that, you know, hey, I really feel this way about you. But and you deserve this kind of treatment, you know? More enough for the ladies, them understand that <coughs> men want to be romanced as well. You know, it's not all about them. You can send we flowers to, you know? What? Yeah, man, send we flowers, man. You might dead in a day still, but send me flowers. Oh, you, want, oh, you want flowers and you don't want to pick up your soap? Make it, Jesus Christ. I'm only asking. Uh, yo, go to the next All question. Right. Go to okay. the next question. All right. No, I go will. to the next question. I will. Is it time to see strong again? Let's go and hold him back down, you know? Yeah. Oh, 
Have you ever been captivated by charming words from a sweet mouth man or woman? What are some of the lyrics that you've used or come across? No, I can say I probably have been flattered a little bit, but not. Oh wow! Mm. I, wow, this statement makes me. Mm. Yeah. I think for me, <clears throat> sorry, it was more of a the persistence over time. Mm. You're still showing, and no, no, that is one time say something, man. It, it get me. It, it takes more than just that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but one, one, one lyric I can remember, which I found extremely funny, was. <coughs> Boy, my girl, may I tell you, what I tell my granny, one pig. I <laughs> 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 found that very funny. But I tell my granny, one pig. I can give you anything you want. Yeah, something to that effect, you know? But the, the one pig was the, was the, was the, the main statement yeah. that just yeah, made yeah, me literally yeah. crack up. I found that really, really funny. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, if your granny have one pig, you're gonna say it just to give me the money, boy. Uh-uh. You know, so why? You have yes. a level. You have a level. You have a level. <laughs> <laughs> I found that very funny. <laughs> What's that? Um, any other come to mind? Um, that was outstanding. Mm-mm. Because pretty much most of what they would have said, I would have known already. Okay. Pretty much. Yeah, it's not like I'm like, oh, really? You think that way? Oh, mm, my. Mm, no, mm. no, 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 no. That's not me. Go off the cliff for me. Eh, me run gone left you. Eh, eh. You go for the cliff for me, so around with you. <laughs> me no one stick around. I don't want to, I'm not drawn by that. Okay. And another thing that um, I've heard, which was a real huge turn off, is like, I remember one man saying, why, baby, bees bite you. <laughs> Hello, Goldie. I found that so distasteful. I mean, so, yeah, wrong, so wrong with that. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Bees, bite bees bite me. But you know what I'm talking about, right? Then was is, all right. Well, let me ask you a question. It was distasteful. Let me ask you a question. Is it or is it not a compliment? It isn't a compliment. It's not a compliment. No, sir. Why? I was by till then. Yes, Marvin. Long, long, long after when I found it very funny to be laughing and laughing about it. Not initially. Initially, I was like, blinking mad boy. Yeah, that was my initial comment. But it was funny. <laughs> the way he said it, <laughs> I, I found it funny. It was stiff, man. Oh, boy. Yes, she said. Yes. Somebody says, she said, I really love you, and she want me to tell her back. And the day I tell her, she never tell me. Look, you six to one. Six Listen, to eight. when you are grow up, King, mm-hmm. for real, me know, me, me understand that <coughs> pain there. When you are grow up, if you tell a girl, say you love her, was the ultimate thing. You see me? You, you, you go through so much things in your, in your brain, you know, before you actually tell her. So for a girl, for you, for you reach that point and express yourself that way, you know, and then, you know, hear back the boy, you know, how, how she feel about you. Hmm. Most rough. Most, 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 most rough. Me never have lyrics. Really? No, me Where never have lyrics. Yours. <clears throat> Where you used to get a girl? My girl, me a late start time. You know, me run, oh, me run out of the block late, you know. Me run out of the block late. Every one of my bridge them run through the block and gone down the road. Way down the road left me. Another one I heard. You are... Was it? You're the realest... No, no, no. Let me see if I remember. The only one where, where, where me used to have. Never anyone like you. Only in my dreams. That's just crap. <laughs> That's crap for sure. <laughs> Cleo, you're, you're looking, looking so, so symbolious. The girl asks you, say, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. But I hate... What, what, what we used to do at school, we used to just, like, find some joke. You know, like, my girl, you're not tired. You're stiff for you, you know? 
You don't know, be you want to say, my no, girl. Man, you know, you're not romantic, you know, you're for two months. You just know, use a fine, the, the lyrics say what we talk. Mm-hmm. I, I don't ever know. Roses really. are red, violets are blue. No, would I say, Sugar yo. Is sweet, but not as sweet as you. No, what's say, boy, my girl, you tired? You tired? No. Alright. No ask why. Yeah, I run up and down in a maid, so. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> hey! Lyrics! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, sir. Mm. So we also, you know, those find a little, 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 little knock, you know. But I never like the boy. Yeah, try it. Like seriously, lyrics are girl. You, you can't see the boy. One of my favorites is Heaven must be missing Listen an that angel. angel. I tell you, boy. Yeah. You know, so yeah. yeah. Not really funny. No. <laughs> <laughs> or he's missing from it, heaven. It means that you're you're my earth angel because heaven is missing you, so you're here with because you're here with me. Cool. Yeah, I know you're messing around. <laughs> <laughs> oh but, boy. I mean, women. Me think women have a bigger knock or better knock for butt up, man. Really? Yeah, man. Me feel say. No, man. I think men have it more. No, we men pa- tell women some no, something. We talk some something but without no effect. Without oh, effect. Geez. But when you don't say it, you know, we feel. I want a week. Yeah, we feel, we feel our head swell like doppy. Mm. I say, boy, Jan Ostash, you really mean that? Oh. I want a craft when I craft with. Oh. We feel good in ourselves, say, yeah. So just hearing a woman say it makes you just go, ooh. Yeah, make a woman. A woman. Oh, we'll come on for the break, we're done with the talking. Um. It's now 11.30. The time is brought to us by VJ Printing Services and Real Talk is sponsored by Nessal. We're soon forward. Native Audio Stage and Lighting. Now offering stage, lighting and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting. A sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Adele Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. You have one minute, cause on a Friday night, me have to tune in to Real Talk on Stars 96 FM. Me and you have questions about love, birds and the bees. Not to mention the ticks and the fleas. So you try tune in on a Friday night between 9 and 12 for Real Talk. At the show we discuss everything real and nothing ideal. Architects, draftsmen, and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high-quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high-quality white paper printing that is water-resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 8 Eight nine three two two six six. The views expressed on this program are not necessarily the views of Native Broadcasting Network or Styles FM. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, off here sometimes catch you. Yes, welcome back, guys, to the rest of the show. We go until 12 o'clock, so if you can stay with us, we love that. And, of course, we want to hear your views. I'm not hearing from my ladies tonight. Where are my hey, ladies? To you looking a clear. I'm going to climb up a tree for you. you know? <laughs> that one is one that That's I've heard. That's a classic. Classic one, yeah. That's a classic. Yep. Classic, I'm classic, up a classic, tree classic, for you. classic, classic. Real talk. You know? Real talk. But, but I think that I, one I remember. would have caught some girls. They're not, they're not big, they're not big yeah. thing that man if a man go climb a tree for you. Not a tree for you, get paid a joke. Oh, gosh. One time, me and a girl I drive. And she tell me, say, fast cars and fast driving turn around. Oh. You know, you know who start drive fast? You. <laughs> <laughs> Cause, Does it work? Well. Um, well. Did you get something? <laughs> <clears throat> Okay. Well, well <laughs> move on. Moving right along. King, I saw me a drive. I saw me foot a rub down. I saw me foot a rub down. I saw me a press gas. I saw me. <laughs> 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 You're my dude. You're loony tune. But tell me up in a brother. <laughs> 
<laughs> when I think about no safety, you know. Oh, uh, I, don't know why, whatever yeah. I, mean I, do. I was about to say, what is she doing? Uh, my man, I was saying, what is she doing? She knows she are, she are probably put in one state where you just drive harder. Then, and I think about nothing more than what I you might think get. about nothing else, man. Oh, my girl said, boy, fast cars and, and fast driving turn around. Mm. <laughs> oh, boy. So you know who sink the clutch? A <laughs> standard vehicle them time then you know, or so. Uh, women, when, when, when a woman tell a man, say, boy, yo, you know, simple thing, like a haircut, like a hairstyle, like mm. a compliments. Mm. We feel Ooh, nice. King Mitchell, you know? what's that, what, you know, you know, what's that colonial van? It smell good. You know, you like it? Yeah, oh, man, you like it, man, you know? Boy, oh, boy. Uh, Dan, Dan, mm, I could have eat you up now. You smell good. You would say that to Dan, Dan? Say it again. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just saying. Women have said, to so him smell good, smell, smell, smell something you can eat. You know, like you don't care, just eat you up. No, like, mm, just eat you up because you smell so good. And those things make uh, a man feel nice. You feel nice, you know, you feel. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, you see? Yeah. No, I've never you seen know, it, but then. You, you know, um. That's the next best thing to do. Is that Dan Dan calling me? Oh, Lord Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> what have I done to myself now? The edible one. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Dan Dan. Say it again. Dan Dan, leave me alone. <laughs> hey, hey, that's rude. You. It's a, it's a, it's a, I'm, I'm just called them at 19, you know, about 19, I go just maybe 20 years. <laughs> and, I, and a co worker, a co worker, the Yankee girl, she, had, she was 29. Then, mm -hmm. and the girl gave me some lyrics to see what happened. One night, one night, and a winter, you know, about 11 o'clock, me leave my house at Brown, go check on New Jersey, you know. Mm -mm. And, 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 and that was just the beginning uh, of the romance that, that she put down. Because uh, oh. we couldn't even leave for the weekend. Uh. No, yeah. So, let me tell you, that was the height of, of lyrics and romancing. And mm. I have never experienced them level of romance from another woman. Oh, yes, yeah, sir, man. Mad. Yeah. Was, an old and an, an older woman did that. <laughs> that we are talking about. Real talk. Oh, we got it, man. Oh, we that. got it. The older woman got it. No, she's no, she was yeah, older well, than him. He was I 19 know. and she was 20, 20 21, I, 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 I get the impression that that woman <laughs> wait on the men to lead. <laughs> to lead and lead and that, and, you know, I, I, I don't want, I don't want to put the mood on them. Normally, no. You get, you get, you get like that around. Me, me, me no know. I, I, I think I probably only one time in my life, mother said, boy, I want a woman look me. You know, I'm a gear, I'm a twin, I'm a feel, I'm a feel cute about it. Really? Mm. Yeah, man. I'm looking no guy. I'm a gear, I'm a man, you know. So, it, it's a, it, the, the, the feeling where you get just, just, just nice. Hey. You see, you see, you, you see how. I ain't looking no guy. Yo, you, 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 all right, you see, just as what you said, Dan Dan, we talked to an older girl already, you know, right? And as the mere fact, say, they, them trying to use um, across from police station, with, 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 with Delicious Delight. Mm hmm. With the day uh, um, on the outside of Delicious Delight, and she was all a, a curl her finger and I'm here and everything, and I feel good as a, as a little youth. And I said, boy, John no star. You feel like a big man. So you can something kind of butter way up, you know, just have a, like, just have a, like puppet. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just a curling finger, you know, and say, boy, you know, boy, your you, you hair feel <laughs> nice, and, you know, boy, you're just cute. <laughs> and you pet me, too. See, you just feel, you just feel good. So, so, Dan Dan. Yeah. Do you agree that women... Butter up men easier, way easier than how men can easily seduce a woman with his words. Men, men fall for it more. <laughs> okay. You know that women are more hard on. Yeah, man, men fall for it more, man. And and, and hey, men are not really. 
I don't really want Bernard like that, you know, for the most part, you know. So, so what I want to put on the lyrics, no, man, it, 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 he, he interprets that, okay, she means business, well, not business, she means pleasure. Mm. Yeah. All right, Dan, Dan, I'm going to give you a prime example, right? Why, 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 what, what do women think is irrational why enough of them money and nowadays I go to the gym and claim to them El conscious and them I get tick and take all picture with, when, 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 when they don't have no shirt and the, are the compliment, you know, where them I get or where them I seek at why them go to all them it don't have nothing to do with no healthy <laughs> lifestyle it don't have nothing <laughs> to do with do that man want to maintain the image what what want want to have any any form of health discipline to maintain his image and it, his look it's just for, it's just for the for attraction Physical. okay it don't have nothing to do with nothing else you see me because me can't tell you say for your exercise and all that the music music skill part football but the training part me never like it <laughs> me never like it one right. bit so when you hear a boy, a brethren, a make a, so, all right, back in the days I went all the money, so shave all the eyebrow and, 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 um, and put all part in the eyebrow, like M, um, not MCM, when you have vanilla ice. I mm -hmm. feel attraction, because ladies are telling you, oh, you're so this, I know you're Cute. so that. Is the reason, you know, you know, and we just feel butt up as, as much as say, we would have seen macho. The way how you yeah, see, the yeah. way the way how some man carry themselves is really if you get that commendation and, and compliment from mm -hmm. women. And you know what's so unfortunate? 90% of the time, another woman a yard, I admire them. <laughs> uh, yeah, and that is yeah. the thing, you know. The mm. woman at the yard mm. now nah, admire the man them the way. Our oh, next woman out oh, there, I admire him. And then them a quarrel. What you a quarrel for? You know make the man feel that way there. And vice versa. Da, da, I don't know where you get that part there from. Right? And, you know, and, no, 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 I'll tell you, you know, um, this, this, me, 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 I was here, Jamaican men, um, um, you know, don't, them always say, Yankee woman, and this, and Yankee brother, like they're not positive mm -hmm. about Yankee women. But, I tell you, Yankee women, them, them know, them know about romance. Far more than um, than than Jamaica one. A lie you tell. We believe that. A lie me tell. Lie you a tell. Uh, well, you speaking well, generally, no? Me, me believe that. I am speaking from experience. Oh, whoa. all right, sir. <coughs> me, me believe that. Hi. Uh, right. Dan Dan. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> me can't tell you, sir. <laughs> me, me, me really can't. I've heard it though. That Yankee uh, woman. Me, me, I can't that. recall. Is it? Me can't recall getting that. Level of affection. You see me? And me feel say if a woman approach me on a certain level, me go to run because I'm not used to that. <laughs> because I say, oh, I wish yeah. she tried. She had tried to trick me. She had to take man for idiot. Because I'm not used to them. I'm not, not used to them something there. Dan, Dan gi yeah. give me an instance that you would say the average Jamaican one would not do something like this. Give me an example. That, that would not do what? That, that you would say, boy, a Yankee woman would do this, but the Jamaican woman would not. Generally speaking, the Jamaican woman would she not doing this. But a Yankee girl will do this to make a man feel great. And mm -hmm. when, we, when we talk about romance, we're not talking about just, se just yes, sexy wallet. Yeah, yeah. We're talking about yeah, romance yeah. overall, make the man feel great about himself. And what is it All that right. you would say a Yankee woman, she would do over well, ta continuously and, and stuff like that? I mean, I've to the Jamaican woman who would do it. But yes. I had not come across a Jamaican woman who... Would be willing who, to. Well, I don't, well, I don't know say, yeah, come over. And you know, open the door. Yes. Well, no, we shouldn't say this, but <laughs> but it's a, it's a most most very few J Jamaica women would 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 greet at the door and and and, and when they open the door and close the door, you are you know fully nude. Oh, few Jamaica women um, do that. Oh, they, they 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 invite you in and they're all dressed nicely and they want you to get them nude. No, the woman naked. No, I'm saying the Jamaican no, woman. No, 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 no. no, no. When, when I said the, the, the Yankee woman, we invite you. 
and, and, I, and I got that. And, and when you and, and when you come in, yes, I the, got the, you. The, the, I'm the, well, I'm not, the, the, run, the romantic mood is set as soon as you enter the door. Yes, so I'm asking you if you're saying then the Jamaican woman would more be in clothes waiting for you to declose her. Yeah, I'm going away about it too. And then she tried it. to. Not yet, I'm not ready yet. Yeah, man, man. I'm not ready. Not, 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 okay, I'm just trying to get the. Yo, right now, I'm going to knit up. <laughs> Yo, so, can I burn so, the phone in, so man? So she, she, she might really want it. <laughs> we don't know. Hold on, no. We don't I know. I might. So she might very well want it. It's a turn it off. Too, it's a turn off. Because she's playing Miss Goody Goody. <laughs> She then leads you to yeah. think that she is not but, into that. Is a turn off. Not, okay, David. Yeah. Okay. Turn off. You have, 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 have to wake up woman at night time. You know, they know what, you come from this. What did you say? Oh. What was that, Dan Dan? No, what I said is the, the, the woman should not um, be, be conditioned to leave it up to the men. To make, to, um, to make the advances to make the like that. but there are some women like myself who do not like to initiate all the time so you might find that if you all the time if you initiate what is the word all the time if, if you initiate then she might follow suit but there are women who do Mike. not. You, you hear that door? You hear that? Ah, okay, Mike. exactly. But I also, I also just said she, there are some women who don't like to initiate all the time. Why, why, didn't, why didn't you say all, all the, time. the time? No, you can't use all the time. There's no woman that initiates all the time. So take all the all the time off of it. There are women mm. who will initiate depending on the circumstance. Okay. Sometime. Yeah. Don't, don't put all the time in it. Yes. Clear. And I, and I women, don't even know of us. Women, women, women ought to know that once they initiate, the man will follow through because it's easy for the man to get um, to, to, But to, But there are the women who them. like to be chased. Eh? And the man is the hunter by nature. There are women who like yeah, to be okay, chased. No, right now, this is a touchy, to this is a touchy yeah. topic for me. I'm even all want to this right now because, King, when me, when me think about. But when meeting about the history, I soon calm you down. See, <laughs> when meeting about the history, may I have a catch for you, man? When, when meeting about the history, see, <laughs> and maybe one sister, me know straight up, she would have, she, 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 she would have left whatever hours at the night for a link. And once, once she comes a bomb through the door, he might take off. When you have to take off, he not coming and not Andy. She read it. She, she mean business. Seeing, but me don't have no more. <laughs> Yo, it's a pain stick, brother. Some of you brother. men are the well, ones why the women aren't like that. You Yo, know? you got, I want to call right, some of it. Well, well, yeah. Dan, Dan, yeah. Dan, Dan, well, Dan, Dan. The one then I represent the Dan ten percent, you know. Dan, Dan. And then, and then person is better than all the other. Dan, Dan. Dan, Dan. You ever yeah. go? You ever go on mission yet, brother? I go on ends it. And you did it. You, you, go, you, you go through the motion and probably kick back and watching all the movie or your talk and conversation and then people just go drop asleep. Huh? You're that boring. <laughs> eh? You're boring. Anything you want to say now. You're See? boring. Because guess what now? No, no, no. Guess what now, Dan Dan? <laughs> they would have their routine time with them go for them bed. Keep her up. Seen? And that's it. It's like you were, you were just not a part of the plan. You were not enticing enough to keep her Any up. Way you want Give her taking. a reason to stay up. <laughs> <laughs> Give her something to Look stay you know, up for. It's the same huh. thing what we are saying. The chase they want, they want they want that. Yo, listen no, to me. No, you're the one who made the As one fall asleep. Say, Dan Dan. It's just lame. No, you were lame. lame. You weren't up. You weren't stiff enough. You Yo. were not up. And that's the problem. <laughs> no, you see, Dan Dan, don't blame the woman there. Give her a reason to stay eh? up. No. And well, to no. keep up. Just feel that we feel a chase, you know, we feel this. No. Look here. Women sometimes like to prove themselves to be difficult. Difficult. That's true. I'm not saying you know. no. But she's trying to eh? maintain her, her womanhood. Like yes, yeah, okay. she's not just one right, girl like that. Look, she's no, trying no, no. to, you know. No, no, no. Okay. And here, 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 here I'm not gonna agree with that now, Dan Dan. You can't have a woman where are your woman. That's different. And every time, pretty much, that's what it is. She, and like me, I say, she, she, no, sir, she's boring. And like me, I say, but, 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 but if you check it out, well, when me check it out, 
whether personal or punish whatever it is in many cases that is a situation the one on the side will not just give like that just so over time, if, if, if this thing continues, she want to see what you're made up of first or what you're, you're about and so on. And then she will say, oh, well, you know, I think he's... Uh, so That's so how so. she is and all the time. And then she would say, you know No, what? no, no, no. Tell me that. That's how women are all the time. Hmm. Even if you make the woman stay up. <clears throat> and, 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 and look here, I, I don't think it, it, it all comes to the territory of... of 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 of, um, of women being so radically different from um, from a man, so, or so, a thinker, and or so, a girl. Yes, that's true. That's true. But then, yeah. let me ask you this. So, eh? Let me ask you this. You're inviting a woman over, yeah? And when she wait, walks, wait, start over, start over, start, start over. you invited a woman over. Yeah. And when she walks to the door, yeah. So is something wrong with you? Start ripping her apart. But no regular thing that's for me. If, what? if you apart. start ripping her apart, yes. No, not wrong with that. That, okay, is something wrong if she walks in? You open the door, she comes in, and you just start strip. What wrong with that? <laughs> you start strip your clothes. I don't know if nobody else did it. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Why are you laughing, Dan Dan? No, no, look what now let's write. What if what if look what now what right. if when she walks we, through no your the door finish. she walks through your door. Let's picture this. Picture this. <laughs> yeah. She walks through your door. All right. Dan Dan, hold on the man. Hold on, Dan Dan. Mm. So it's good what? for her. It's good when she, when you go to her house, she's supposed to start going on with her thing. When she comes to your house yes. and you open the door and lets her in, let her in. Why is it that you can't just start stripping right down with some good old Kenny G or some... We never said we wouldn't do that. Some lovely, some lovely Kenny Latimore music. Nothing wrong with that. Some Luther, whatever, and you start stripping and you start dancing and worving that thing around in a circle and getting her all worked <laughs> up. Why you can't do that? He never said me that I'm going to do that. Uh, but, but, but look here. We, 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 we have done that. I have done that. Top but, listen but, but, but listen to me now. There's mm -hmm. a thing called um, there's a thing called home field advantage, you know. Mm -hmm. you see, you see, we say when 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 they find your home field, you're yeah. the one who who who, who make the moves first. You're the one who who who, who, who put out the welcoming mat. You're the one who who, who, who initiate things first. That's all. That's that's like. That's, that's like protocol. You know, when it, when it, when it, when it sports, when it plays oh, ball. Oh, home, and, advan home and, court and, advantage. Yeah, home field advantage. Okay. So, you know, so, the, the, the so, so, so but, but Dan Dan. Blow the carpet and things. Like. Okay. But, but, but Dan Dan, te technically then, if that is correct, right? It means, say, uh, yeah. when you go up on the ends, <laughs> and you don't see no move like that, it tell you what the home team is all about. <laughs> and it could exactly. just be. It's a it's a terrible thing when 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 you when 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 you um you are the business party, you know, as a man, yes, you are the business party, and you don't have don't have you know go through your calisthenics and exercise and and your and your radio, and next thing you know, she goes say, I want I want I want to <laughs> I, but but I, Dan, there's also the perspective where sometimes it, sometimes in a game sometimes in a game Dan Dan when you're in a strange place the weather the climate could be so different that you take a time to warm up to the environment before you get into action. No man, the band, the band warm man, I want you. You see, it happens. You know, you know when, 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 uh, hey, Daddy Rude, when, when, uh, when, when the panel bench and court say, Daddy Rude, warm up. You just tell the court on the band warm. I ready, to <laughs> <laughs> ready to, to run on. <laughs> All right, welcome to the next question yeah. now, yeah? I hear you, Dan. Yeah, Thank you so much. Cool. Novlet, wake up, Novlet, wake up, yes. Um, Marvin J. Ja Jamaica, Jamaica, yeah, says, Women love that physique. And it's just, sometimes it's so good they call it physique you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the women, women love to see when the men looking really sharp and nice. Yes. Uh, Rastri says, if he, is by, if he is by me, I am most times tubeless, tubeless. getting him into trouble. All right. 
Hmm. But you see, you have some, but like we said, just the one percent. I mean, you have some exciting women out there, you know. You yes, do have exciting women but who just know the 1%. they know how to entertain their spouse and make him feel, ooh, la mm. la, I'm wanted, you know. Um, let's see what is on the text line quickly while we go to the last part of this because we're wrapping up, coming down to the wire. Um, you and your partner had an argument. Yeah. And in the midst of the tension, you get an invitation to go hang out with a friend. Would you accept? Now, it depends on what the hangout is, uh, well, who the friend is. Because it could be a girlfriend, it could be a male friend, but the male friend could be... You and your partner in an argument. I heard you. Right? And are the argument going already, but this, the environment still tense. Mm -hmm. So, you know, argue this morning, in the evening, the vibe still tense up. one mm -hmm. way, you mm -hmm. know? Pretty much, man, go work and then come home back and it, it, it still did it, mm -hmm. right? You probably are not even cook, Zane. Ouch. And then now, him get a phone call. Him? Yeah, get a phone call? him get a phone call, eh? right? Mm -hmm. and, you, and you can hear the voice in the background say, boy, he's a female. What you do? Well, you know, I just reach home. So you sound so. That's the vibes, man. <laughs> oh, I kind of pick up what you say. Eh, eh. Okay, you know, I have to talk in a code more mm -hmm. time. Eh, eh. My God, so, where so, going? so, eat. You know, say, tell you the truth to, to the vice and not even lunch meet and when I reach home now. N nothing even in the, in, in the thing, you know? Mm -hmm. So, cook, you know, call link my man. Where are you going? <laughs> you know, if you step out, me gone too, you know. If you left me, I left too. Well, I know me, I fella. As long as I know me, I fella, you know, go along. <laughs> oh, boy. Hey, hey, King, big man thing. You go home, you hear you, your man argument in the morning. Kill all your vibes. When you go to work, you came and eat all your own food, because vibes dead. Then you go home now, well around hungry, pan top of that, she no cook. What if she cook and, and a shirt give you, like she normally does? And a sister. Are string. you okay with that? No, I don't want a vex food, you know. So you're complaining about the food, but if, if vex is and daddy and she don't cook. No, but if... You're complaining for No, but if... if and if she's cooking and I want it. No, but... It, no, you, 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 you put a factor in and I say, boy, you know, shear out the food. You, you normally shear the food you don't give me. But you not talk to you. The fact that she cooks. You don't know, talk to me. But you don't know, talk to the plate neither. No, the See? fact that she so, cooks you, and she don't really inner you. But I don't know. Hold on then. It's on the stove. The, 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 the dinner the pan is tov, yes, but normally me get, I get a gentleman's treatment. When you're a gentleman. Look here. <laughs> it's like um, it's like so a king. king. I'm not sharing it. It's like how it's like how I can't do it. It's like it's like I can't do what she has said. Me no gentle, right? <laughs> Your sister link me. Must be mad man. And she says the Must the tension. I said, boy, you know what? Because first, Before, thing, you know, what you, you, you know what the key thing was. You, 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 you know what the key and thing. The you, you know what the key thing was. You say mm -hmm. why? Why am I go left? Mm -hmm. She go say, you know what? Uh, you know your mouth stay now. I know you go tell her about her Tara Tara. <laughs> she, and she don't like when I tell her this something. Even they just come out of the house, mm -hmm. walk her out. Let's see me and you walk out together. I have some okra and steam fish. Let's see me and you walk out <laughs> and eat this okra and steam fish together over your, over your sister. <laughs> me and your pee pee clock clock. I go eat steam fish and okra. <laughs> she go cook tin mackerel and boiled dumpling. <laughs> yeah? What wrong with boiled dumpling and tin mackerel? I mean, I mean, I okra and steam fish over this road, boy. Which part me you have my dinner on that particular day? I'm not going to look at my okra and steam fish. I'm not okra and steam fish and you see what I'm doing after that. And worse, you know, you see a little <laughs> carrot juice king. The carrot juice. Eh? And a syrup. Eh? So my juice, not good enough for you. The syrup? My juice. Not, not at the here. moment. No. <laughs> no, not <laughs> now flow. Not now flow. Mama Winsome said Friday night blessings. My God, daughter and daddy road. Good. Good to see you on Mama Winsome from Pear Tree River. Big up, Mama Winsome. Yeah, love you, girl. So... <laughs> well, me, 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 you have, it, it depends on the situation because you probably have to walk out the tension. If it's that bad yeah, and, and, yeah, and, and you, you feel some way. You don't want to go to the place where you know. Yeah, you yeah, yeah, you got yeah, yeah, regret. You know, but although if I left, I might end up a regret. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you just might. You so, just might end up regretting. What would you do? Would you leave? Would you, what, what, you know? Um, I wouldn't leave on the account of 
the friend calling. Mm. I wouldn't want to leave for th- at that point because it could be very suggestive. Mm. I would prefer would to it, just... Would it better for you to come home late than go home and cut? Yeah, yeah. Okay. It would be easier. Because you would already probably said why um, him got to hang out. Maybe. Would, would you call and find out where are you? No, if me if Vic's like that, I'm not ready to call. You're not calling. Uh-uh. See, I'll touch me. I'm glad you're not say, calling. Up. I, touch me. I'm <laughs> <laughs> glad you're not calling. Touch I might send a text, text or something. Depending on Yo. if it's my... No, I'm the kind of girl, though. If it's my fault, why you upset? Mm. Then I'm going to try to find a way to rectify what I did. But no call yet, man. Ah, oh, okay, you want to do your rounds? <laughs> That's not call it, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, still tense. Make a tension and still oh come on. Oh, boy. See me? But the stiffness. Uh-huh. Yeah, man. Make the stiffness. You stay. can work with the stiffness now. Right now, yes. <laughs> Be sure, don't. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Let's see what Marvin's saying. Cleo, come go to your bed. First, a stiff argument. No, you are eat up smuddy. No, man. This not safe. <laughs> we are going to go up. Ah. <laughs> Marvin is absolutely crazy. Oh, well, guys, if it is that you and your partner happen to be in an argument in the midst of the tension, if you see where it's going to become dangerous and you can walk away, and then again, you shouldn't even be with somebody who, you shouldn't even be in a situation where it reaches the place of becoming dangerous, firstly. Mm. True. But if it is that you see the tension so high, you might find yourself saying something you might just regret. Walk it out. Just take a walk on the road and come back. Yeah, you know. But if a curfew time, stay put. Put on your earphone. <laughs> put in your <laughs> earphone or your earplugs or something, and just don't bother answer. Cause the moment you say something and them say something else and I say something else, it just you know blows a proportion. So do the best you can to um, alleviate. Any unnecessary tension where you don't have to do or say anything you might regret in the long run and might send the wrong message. And then the person in return just say, all right, you do that. You do the same thing too. And you hmm. can't ask me nothing because you did the very same thing. So mm. um, we think and think rationally and wisely before we act. Yeah? Don't be reactive. So, but let me ask you a question. Suppose when him come home and you realize that him not eat, and you go to him and say, boy. Because one thing, you know, when a woman cook and a man eat the food, then he oh begs gosh. to, you know. Oh, gosh, man. Begs. Suppose until you say, boy, me eat something already. What? <laughs> no, man. No, this show needs to be done right now. The part two continue next week because this is going to take a whole next hour. Me cook. And you're not going to come for your dinner. Yeah. Come like, on, oh, come tell me about your eat already. <laughs> you never get another me. You know what? It's now 12 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> the Facebook Live is not up. Oh, God. Um, somebody tried to log in, but they couldn't get another. I'm not sure why. My friend Vivian in Atlanta <laughs> couldn't get into the Facebook. I don't know what happened there. Um, show turn up. 877, thank you. Novlet says, Cleo, restart the show. It's 9 p.m. <laughs> my time. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, to all the people who got were locked in tonight, all our friends who listened in, who partake of the discussion, and Marvin and everybody, Princess, Rastris, Jamaica, uh, Prince, uh, Princess Donald, of course, Novelet, Charmy, Charmy, Kimoy, Shelly, didn't get Shelly's messages, I'm not sure why, Grace, Winsome, Cadian, all of y'all, 585, Sandra was also locked in, I didn't see Sandra's comment, sometime, you oh, dropped you too, know, last, not last all week. time, so I saw the thing set, alright? Last week, maybe if you ask a question, uh, and me, might not remember next week. Mm-hmm. If you got somebody, if you ask somebody, it's a boy f- for newspaper, right? Mm-hmm. If you have a newspaper, you have an old newspaper there? Mm-hmm. Which will check somebody if you have an old newspaper, yeah, right? Yeah, sometimes, yeah. Suppose they say, yeah, man, and then go in at them bathroom feet. What do you think? That's where you start the old, newspa- old stale news. <laughs> <laughs> 
Andrea, Lord Jesus, 834, Oren. We will look at your issue again, Oren, next week. Give it back to me next week, you hear? Oh. What's on the set there? Um, Kevin in Tampa, Florida. Hi, Kevin. Well, well, we, well, we did talk about it. We did? Yeah, with, 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 the, with, the, with the grandfather, with the father. Yeah, we mentioned The fiancé thing. Um, I wasn't in for that, though. 292, that's Rochelle. Andy from St. Thomas locked in as well. Sadie. And, of course, our engineer, King Mitchell, we thank you so much for being here with us tonight. Thanks to my co-host. Thank you at home for being such great um, sports and being such great company tonight. We are glad we could educate and entertain you on another Real Talk. And of course, I'm innocent in all that they've accused me of tonight because I was just being real, genuine. And I was talking about stiff shoulders, okay? Mm -hmm. So until next week, guys, um, stay safe. Please, I beg on you, stay safe. I am not in favor of this relaxing any curfew hours during the Christmas break. Nine o'clock is still not even being observed by many. So I think it should stay as it is. I don't see the great difference. That's my take. Um, but let's see how best we can keep it safe so that we don't get another spike after the Christmas holidays. All right, guys, until we see each other again, hopefully next week, Friday, God's willing, take care of yourselves, show some love to somebody else out there who is in need, and let's be our brother's keeper. All right? Big up my wife for life. I'm a pity them. Bye-bye. Stay safe.